how's it going? Let's see. I probably need to move it over this way just a little. Get this straightened up. How you doing? Where am I seeing this? Let's move over this way a little bit more. Oh, uh oh. Craft a lanch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, adult coloring for UFOs. <laughs> How you doing? I should tweet. I always forget. I'll do that real quick. How's everybody doing? Happy hump day. Hi, Pacola. Happy hump day. Let me tweet real quick. And... Uh, more name live. Let's put my little coffee cup in the palette. Where's my little palette? Hmm, there it is. Okay, there it is. If I don't tweet right away, I forget. <laughs> and Pacola will yell at me. No, not really. Hi, Mystic Jade. Artful Dabbler, Corey, uh, Corey, Tori, <laughs> how you doing? Let's see who else, Pamela, okay, lurk away, Pamela, lurk away. I got, uh, if y'all know, I talk about Annie V, she's our, um, one of our, uh, she doesn't, she's not live, she's not on social media of any kind that I know of, she's, and she did say, I said one day, I'm not quite sure how old she is. I think she said in her letter to me, I'm 80. <laughs> so Annie, um, I've known Annie online, well, from watching the show for many years, as has Mary Altier. And she sent me a birthday uh, present. She sent me this little um, stripe per, uh, pears and polka dots and this uh, vintage book, The Writer's Brush paintings, drawings, and sculptures by writers. So I thought we'd look at that. Then I ordered some boho fabric that I want to make cuffs. I want to make cuffs out of. Like, you know, the, the Colleen cuff. <laughs> so I want to make some boho cuffs. Um, not on camera. Nobody wants to watch me needle and thread. <laughs> but anyway, I'll show you that and tell you where I bought that. Here come the cats. I'm going to have to watch out for them. i got juice here. Hi, Elaine. Uh, let's see. Nope, can't go over there by the cords. No cords. <laughs> let's see. Creative Moments with Dorinda. Hi, Dorinda. I, I remember you from some time back. Hi, Christina. Gail, can you all hear me okay? Hopefully. Bueller, Bueller, wait, wait, where's my Bueller? I have a Bueller. I actually have a, I actually, I uh, actually made one of those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so thanks, Pacoa. Hi, Nanamo. Hi, Jonna. How you doing? Preppy Crafty Girls, where I got my vintage paper kits from that I added to my Jane journal to make it a Jane and Jonna journal. <laughs> uh, you like that, Nanamo? <laughs> uh, let's see. Who else am I missing? Nina. Crafting with the Heart. Uh, Riri. Who else? I know I'm. <laughs> I know I'm probably missing some people. Um, Easy, Ezzy, Ezzy, Yulia. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Hump Day. Happy Hump Day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I thought I'd show some of this stuff. Uh, I have a couple of little projects to work. I'm going to work on some art journaling today. I'll probably work in my two art journals that I've been working in. And um, 
I got a couple of uh, to say thank you to a couple people if they come in. And then I also, if y'all remember, Boo went to New York. I showed y'all pictures. Well, I found this. Oh, I'm going to lose this here. Um, I found this New York uh, kit at Hobby Lobby. So I thought I'd put together a quick little page uh, of Boo. I printed out a couple pictures here. And so I thought I would do a little uh, New York scrapbook page. I know everybody doesn't like scrapbooking, but I'm going to put together a quick page. It will be a quick page and put it in a frame for her, for her room so she can hang it up in her room. So that's the plan there. So I'm going to do that. And again, work in my art journals, which I have. I'm working on them over here. and I'm, I'm, I'm working on them simultaneously, the smaller one and the larger one. So we'll probably do some of that. What else? That'll probably take up the rest of the day. <laughs> I know she is, Nanamo. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. Uh, hi to I miss chat like Concord. <laughs> did you miss the, Did you miss a flight, Nanamo? <laughs> uh, you have done scrapbook pages. You have done some, Dorinda. Yeah, I have 25 three ring binders, 12 by 12. <laughs> Uh, well, there's a couple of post bounds in there too, but I've got a whole shelf top to bottom plus boxes and boxes of photos that I've never scrapbooked. I quit scrapbooking a few years ago it, for the most part. I mean, I'll do a page occasionally, but I just don't do it like I, I used to. Nobody wants my books. Nobody wants my pages. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Uh, I told you when uh, Boo and Cam come over and visit. And they and I and I'll pull out some of their books or something. They'll look at the books and they'll take photos of my pages and and Snapchat them. But they don't want the books. They don't want the actual books. Hi, hi Julie Topaz. So yeah, <laughs> Janet, easy. Uh, Ian, hi Ian, Shelly. Hi, and anybody else I miss coming in? Teresa, Teresa, thank you so much for the card. Teresa sends out um, tons of cards with a letter update of what's going on in her life. And um, so thank you so much for including me in that monthly letter, Teresa. Very, very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see, who else am I missing? If you're watching a uh, recording or just popping in, I... I spend a little time. My scheduled stream is at 9 a.m. Eastern, Monday and Wednesday. Those are my scheduled times. I'll do an impromptu or here or there. Uh, but I come on a little early so I can say good morning to everybody. And uh, so if you don't want to see that or hear that, just slide that little bar if you're watching the recording. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so thanks, everybody, for joining me today. Like I said, I got some uh, birthday books from Annie V, who, and uh, let's see, how, what is she, how did she say it in here? Um, she says, I heard you say you didn't know how old I am. I knew she was elderly, but I didn't know, you know, how old she was. I'm flirting with 80, <laughs> but have not kissed it yet. So she's flirting with 80. <laughs> so Annie V, um, sends uh, me and Mary things every now and then. <coughs> she sent me this for my birthday. She had it all wrapped up in this pretty paper. Wrapped up in this paper, which I'll use some of this in some of my art journal. And she sent me the little striped pears and polka dots, little book, little watercolors. And then uh, I just I love this. The writer's brush, paintings, drawings, and sculptures by writers. And she's had this for a long time. She goes, I'm sorry about the covers, uh, but, you know, it's an old book. <laughs> Hugs to Annie V. Yes, Mary, exactly. And hi, Mary, by the way. <coughs> if y'all don't catch Mary, Mary usually streams every morning before, uh, every morning, even when I'm, <laughs> she streams in early and sometimes late at night. So y'all follow Mary and um, her adventures in uh, uh, a lot of idea collecting and journal making. She does a lot of stuff, guys. I mean, no, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say I don't think I've known anyone in the group 
that has uh, utilized the Society of Idea Collector ideas and added to it tons of her own as much as Mary. Just saying. Yeah. So the book, let me see what year did. I looked at it and I forgot already. Uh, 2007, it's not real old, but I think it, uh, I think there was another copyright, I think 1997. Oh, that was some of the gallery picks. Um, but anyway, Donald Friedman with essays by William H. Gass and John Updike. So, um, and I'll, I'll zoom in a little when I go to, I guess I could zoom in a little now. And, um, let's see here. Let's, uh. Do a couple of clicks there. That may be, eh, that might be okay. And um, let's do a little, a little bit brighter maybe. There we go. That looks pretty good. I try to adjust the setting so it's nice and sharp and crisp. And that may be a little too close when I go to do Boo's page, but we'll see. So, um, yeah, so I love this wrapping paper that she wrapped it in. Now I'm going to put it on the floor and the cat's going to come in here and think it's a little bed. They're going to think it's their bed. <laughs> and like I said, I ordered some boho fabric. I covered up the address, but I wanted my address. But it's from Armor A. Amore. I think it's Amore. Um, A-M-O-U-R. It's all one word. Amore Fabriquest. A-M-O-U-R. F-A-B-R-I-Q-U-E-S. And she has a, she has a uh, YouTube channel. I think that might be the same. I think her YouTube channel is the same. Amore Fabri Quest. Look, there it is up there. I'm thinking that might be her YouTube channel. I don't have it in front of me right now. But anyway, I saw her and I uh, just one day she I, she popped up in my um she popped up in my recommendations. And then I saw she had an Etsy shop. So I went to her Etsy shop and I bought the boho fabric pack. And uh, I want to make some cuffs out of these. Like the cuff I made, uh, Colleen, I made hers out of jean. You can, I actually used a real cuff with hers. Uh, so I wanted to try to do this. And it's like, it's like half quilted. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're perfect pieces for cuffs, you know, with a button on it. And, and some beads and some stitching and all that. So I'll go through that. But anyway, so yeah, I know. It's like it's like scraps of some quilt or something. But it's boho-like, you know, boho-esque. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to, um, I wanted to make some cuffs out of that. So uh, let's see, what else? Hi, Aunt Beck. Uh, Mary was shouting you out the other day, but um, you're not on, uh, if you are on IG, I, I didn't see any uh, of what Mary was uh, talking about. It's slow stitch. Is that what that is? Where it's just like, like this, that slow stitched. Yeah. But it's so, it's just so loose. And so, you know, I don't know. I just really liked it. So I'm going to make cuffs out of it. Um. Hi, Afro Sensible Sister. And I follow, if, and what's your IG name, um, Sister? I forget what your name is on, on Instagram. I follow you and I see you all the time, but I can't remember your name right now. I try to shout, your, shout out your IG. Um, hi, Robin. <clears throat> okay, well, hope everything's all right, Robin. Um. Yeah, I follow her, uh, Mary. I follow uh, Aunt Beck on Instagram, but we I we think we finally found her the other day, <laughs> but she didn't have a... Okay, so it's Sensible Creation with a C, like Cynthia, or it, it, I'm not sure if it's that's what it stands for, but sin, it's C-Y-N, a C -Y -N, Sensible Creation on Instagram. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Hi, Ian. How does Jean feel about having craft items made out of her? Craft items made out of... Oh, uh, wah, wah. Because <laughs> I said jeans. 
<laughs> yeah, I see you, baby girl. Here she comes. She's going to come up here. Um, either that or go sit on that paper. <laughs> so I hope everybody's having a good week. Hi, Barbara. So I'm going to show the book that um, Annie V sent. She sent me two books. Here comes. No, can't go over by the can't go by the cords. Nope. And then I want to do let's let's get off my photos. I want to do a quick uh, scrapbook page of Boo when she went to New York. And uh, so I thought I'd roll with that. And then I pulled out my art journals to just do some, no, some uh, painting. So art, journal, you know, in my art journal. thought that's what we would do today. I feel so close right here. Are we too close or is this? <laughs> I really zoomed in a little. I mean, I wanted to get the whole book in here. But so, um, yeah, let's see. Janice. I said hi to Barbara. I can't go that way, baby. Can't go to the courts. No, no. Hi, Mary Beth. I think I'm going to have to put them out, lock them out. I see you, baby. I see you. Um, okay, Mary. Okay. Go do your errands, Mary. I can't ever really make yours because you are you are practically on the middle of the night, Mary. Uh, late night and... Uh, early mornings. <clears throat> Bye, Mary. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure y'all follow her. Hi, Eileen. Happy hump day to you too. I think we're going to do some painting in junk journal. I mean, um, not in the junk journal, in just the journals. Do some mixed media. Do some mixed media, Eileen. That always makes you happy. Maybe we'll spray some ink <laughs> or do some drippage. Do some drippage. I got. I'll write a note to do that. Do drippage for Eileen. <laughs> uh, drippage in journal for E T E E. Oh, she's gonna just decide to hunker in right here. Hi, Sharon S. Uh, good afternoon to for you. <laughs> good afternoon. Well, I, we're not going to make as much of a mess as you make uh, Janet do. Uh, we're not going to probably pull out the magicals. <laughs> the magicals and the powders and all that. Well, I probably won't be doing that, Eileen. <laughs> Janet said I would pay someone to go to Eileen's house and make a mess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh, you, you've been working on jigsaw puzzles? Well, my grandma did a lot of jigsaw puzzles. Denise likes to do them. She doesn't really have time to do them much, but she likes to do jigsaw puzzles too. So we we are, uh, we're, that's not really old school for us, but we like doing them. So good for you, Robin. Um, I tried to get into the diamond painting. I've done a couple for, you know, I did one completed one for Boo and started another one. I just don't have time. Uh, oh my gosh, do y'all follow Bailey J in her vlog? She had diamond paintings made of her art, and they're humongous. She's never going to finish. Well, no, I'm not going to say she's never going to finish them. She probably will. But they're huge. I think she worked on one strip for five hours on a live show. I didn't go, I wasn't there, but she said it on her vlog that she worked like five hours on that one strip. And so you can have your own art made, as you know, somebody, you know, ripped off uh, my color book page that I did of Jasmine's <clears throat> and, and we reported it and they said they took it down. They said, well, we took it down, but you know, the company that, you know, they, well, anyway, but um, <laughs> it's huge. Her, her um, diamond painting that she did, she had made, she had made of her art. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's tiny, Robin. It is tiny. I can't work on it for five hours at a, at a time. So, uh, you know, eventually I'll finish that second one. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to order anything in the near future, but I enjoyed the first one. But again, it's very time consuming. The, um, I do have a video on my, it's, I think it's called the, my first diamond painting and where I opened up the first pack and the first time I ever tried diamond painting. I have a video. Y'all were there. Y'all were there the first time I tried diamond painting. I was about a year ago or so. And it's in my, it's in my uh, playlist. So uh, let's see what else. 
Hi, Karen, Brenda, Kimberly557. Uh, hi, Jamie. So I guess we can go ahead and get started while the cat's napping on the... <laughs> So let me uh, say again that this is where I bought from Etsy, but she has a YouTube channel, but I can't, I don't know if that's the name of her YouTube channel. So, uh, but anyway, um, I bought some bo a boho fabric pack, you know, and it came from the UK. So, um, no, it didn't. It came, no, it didn't come from UK. It came from the States. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was the UK. It's not. Maybe it's because the way it came packaged. I thought it was the UK. Anyway, um, look it up, Shelly. It's it's little little tiny flat. I don't want to call them beads. They call them drills. They're little flat pieces of um, of of uh, sequins type things. Bead the stuff that beads are made out of, and you pick them up with a little uh, piece of wax um pin a little bit of wax on the end of a pen and you pick them up one by one i don't have it handy right here i'd show you the one i'm working on it's very time consuming uh eileen's i only do diamond painting putting diamonds on my hands at the jewelry store <laughs> eileen you're so funny uh so yeah, thanks, Julie. So I bought these uh, bo this boho fabric um, pack, if you would, and I'm going to make some cuffs out of these. So I'll just show you some of the fabric here. And it's going to be hard to decide on some of them, but, you know, you could, I don't know, one would be the inside, one would be the outside. So anyway, look at this. Isn't it kind of cool? I'm just going to kind of flip through. Some of these could be used for ties. I think I'm going to put buttons on them, though. So, you know, like the one I made, Colleen. Now, they'd be, you know, they're going to be um, hemmed, if you will. They'll be hemmed and neater and everything, but something like that, you know. So I'm going to make some boho cuffs. And uh, I thought this would be a good, this would be a good start because they're already stitched into. They're already worn and weathered and, um, you know, just they're all, some of these littler pieces are here on the top. But I just thought it was so, so fun. And, uh, you know, uh, it, don't, it didn't take me too long to make Colleen's. I think it took a couple hours. It took a couple hours to make Colleen's. So I figure I could make I could make some and, you know, sit, sit down in front of the TV and make a couple. <laughs> we'll see. I really don't enjoy sewing, but I don't mind doing, like, put some beads on it and picking out. Uh, picking out different kind of embellishments for it. That's what makes it fun. I like that one with the paisley. I might have to make that one for myself. So anyway, these are all just little bits of um, fabric. It looks like a quilt that was cut up, you know. Um. <clears throat> so, and I'm not a quilter, but look at this one. See, look, not so cool. It's half, half a cuff's already made. So, you know, and I could cut this in half and stitch it to make it longer. So there, there's a lot of cuffs in here. Look, three or four out of this one. And it could go this way with it, see? And just put a button on it. I always over-exaggerate button. Because I hear so many people say button. My granddaughter said it one day. She said, I need to get, I, I can't find a button. I went, a what? Oh, you can't find a what? A button. You mean a button? <laughs> so anyway. anyway, so, um, yeah, so I thought these would be fun to make, uh, make some cups. Hi, G, how you doing? Uh, let's see who else. Yeah, that, that's what that's called, Nana. Yeah, somebody else said it too. Slow stitching. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look for her. I think she's on YouTube or go to um, go to Etsy and you'll find her there. There's her. Yeah. So yeah, I had to share that with you guys. Uh, what else do I want to share? I want to share my birthday present from Annie V. <laughs> Thanks. 
months, Ian. Uh, so I got this little, and I've had this before, I believe, if not this one, one by Kristen Sevig. And um, I gave it away. And um, so I was happy to get it back again. <laughs> so Annie V, thank you so much. So it's called Striped Pairs of Polka Dots. And they're little watercolors. It's a tiny little watercolors. Look at this. Look how, I mean, I'm sure she watercolored them larger and shrunk it down. But um, I love the way that she made it into a little book. So I'm just going to do a quick little flip here of it. Isn't it awesome? I love little watercolors. They're just so, they're just so cute. Look at the little rain boots. Or I think they call them in the UK, Ian Wellies. Are they all, are all rain boots in the UK called Wellies? I think Wellies is a brand. But is that what y'all call them? Rain, the rain boots, wellies? Yes, wellies. Okay, thanks, Nanamo. So um, look how cute. Isn't that just cute? I know, right, Joe? David Attenborough, your life. So she has little, little stories and... So, yeah, and she's got a couple of uh, little recipes in here. Look at the little chickens. I love I love drawing chickens and roosters. They're just so fun to draw. If you've ever tried to draw a chicken or a rooster, you need to do that. Look at these. Look at these little patterns. A little sloth. Plaids cats, mushrooms, berries, shells. It's just so much in here. For a little book, it's packed full of uh, lots of stuff. Isn't that cool? So let's see what it can says the batter in the front. Wellies are from Wellington, Wellington Boots. Okay, yeah, I knew that they were a brand name, but I just didn't know if it called all of them Wellies. Um, let's see. It came out 2018. Hello, lovelies. My name is Kirsten Sevig, and I am an artist from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This little book is a mixed tape of my illustrations, a few simple recipes, pearls of wisdom, and musings about what makes me happy. Painting is one of the greatest sources of joy in my life, and it plays a big part in my daily routine and self-care. I carry a journal and a portable watercolor set wherever I go. When it is gray and rainy, I paint myself sunshine. When I'm feeling sad, I paint in bright colors to cheer me up. Painting calms me when I'm feeling anxious, when I'm overwhelmed. I make a series of small decisions about what to put on a blank page and begin to feel empowered. I often paint in public where I am in good company, but when I want to be alone, I retreat to paint at home or out in nature. I started this practice while living in Iceland. I moved with my partner in adventure to Reykjavik two years ago in 2013. And it goes on. I'm not going to read her whole story. But um, yeah, it's a cute little book, isn't it? So yeah, thank you, Annie V. And then um, she sent me this writer's brush. Paintings, drawings, and sculpture by writers. So obviously, if you look, I'm not going to go through the whole book, <laughs> but I will flip through a little bit of it. And uh, hi, Nancy, Karen, anybody else I missed? Put it in caps if you want to talk to me. Thanks for the thumbs up already, guys. Uh, don't forget next Monday we're going to be doing, um, we're going to, we'll be doing a uh, uh, comment and, and a, cel a little bit of celebratory 25K subby and giveaways and stuff next week. I know, and I know. Annie V is awesome and she's been she's been watching the show for I don't know, probably since you way well, I know it was way into Ustream. And um so writers ordered by year of birth. So, I mean, goes back to 1749 all the way up to probably close to 1964. So these are the years. The um, I got I need to get a baby wipe. I got some ink on my hands. Hang on, I was doing something with the sharpie, so I got ink on my hand. 
Um, of course, Sharpie doesn't come off that easy, but so anyway, um, yeah, all different writers and how they, what they do uh, artistically. I mean, paint, you know, paint, sculpt, you know. So a combo. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you, Pacola. Put a link in Amazon to get this book. I have another book coming. Let me see if it's going to be here today. I don't know if it's going to be here today. No, I think it's not going to be here tomorrow. Uh, I ordered it off of Amazon, but it was a, a private seller. I think it was a bookstore something selling. So I probably won't get it till tomorrow. Let's see. I think it, it, it should be here. I don't think it's going to be here today. Yeah, it's shipped, but it's not out for delivery. So I could track it, but it's okay. Uh, so I'll have another book <laughs> um, next, probably next week to show you guys. So anyway, um, you can probably see the names up here. So I'm just going to do a little flip. I won't flip through everyone, but I this is a book I'll want to read. I'll want to read and, um, and uh, get to know these artists and writers. So I love this, Annie V. Thank you so much. And I don't know if there's any naked, na 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 nativity. <laughs> or sometimes I say boobage. So, uh, but I try to keep it family friendly. But every now and then, you know, an art page <laughs> sneaks in there. So this, this is not a, a show for children. And I think that by putting coffee, <laughs> coffee and art in a, and my titles might um, show that it's not for kids. <laughs> so anyway, but there's like a, you know, a double page spread about the writer and about the art that they've created. So uh, I'm really excited to read this. I'm really excited to read it. And then they're put in alphabetical order in, inside here. Let's see, there's a little bit of, little bit of sketching. You know, it doesn't bother me, but some people go, oh, my gosh. Uh, you've probably never t drawn a, uh, gone to a live art, uh, you know, live, uh, live drawing, life drawing. <laughs> so, yeah. Isn't this cool, though, guys? I'm trying to catch the pages here. There's Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland. I mean, there's Churchill. I knew he was a, Ian, Ian probably already has read and known all about, well, anybody in the UK, but uh, that he was a painter. Hi, Colleen. Colleen, did you see, well, I don't know if you were here. I'm just going to stick this up here. I got some boho fabric to make some cuffs with, Colleen. <laughs> So hopefully y'all can see the names of the artists up here. And look, we're only up to the C's. So I'm just going to kind of flip real quick. Go backwards now. But these are writers that are also artists. <laughs> That's very cool. So thank you, Annie V. I am going to read this. This will have to sit next to my bed and I'll read I'll read one or two a night along with everything else I read. <laughs> I got stacks, people. I got book stacks. Um, because I read multiple books at the same time. Um I'll read short stories, uh, uh, you know, I'll read a mystery novel. I'll, I'll try to, I'll read probably 10 different books at the same time, as long as they're not all the same. Like I won't read two British mysteries at the same time or, you know, a cozy book lovers mystery at the two of those at the same time or a history of something, you know, I'll just read one, you know, so um, something like this is just good for like quick reading, um, you know, try to read something every day. So anyway, isn't that cool, guys? So, nope, can't go over there by the cords. No. Nope. Um, the writer's brush. No. Okay. Get down. So anyway, paintings, drawings, and sculptures by writers. And uh, Pacola. 
He's over there on that paper. I told you he would be uh, on the wrapping paper. <laughs> yeah, Colleen. Yeah. Colleen got my first boho cuff. Hers was made out of an actual jean cuff, but I got those fabric um, uh, pieces to make, uh, make some more. Hi, Gaga. So anybody else miss? Let's see, Pamela, anybody? I'm sure I'm missing people popping in. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. I like to, you know, yeah, he's over there sitting on the wrapping paper. So thank you, Annie V, for that. It, this is going to be an awesome book to read. And uh, I, I'm really looking forward to just sitting, you know, having that next to my bed. And then I want to thank um, uh, Katie in, in uh, Alabama. Katie in Alabama. I love the way these little cards come. She sent me an Amazon gift card. I love the little, let me show you how it comes. It comes in these little um, boxes like this. Of course, I've already, I've already uploaded it to, um, I've already uploaded it to my app. So it's so easy to have, um, you, you know, if you want to buy something from Amazon, you don't need to put it on your credit card. Just go buy you an Amazon card, gift card from your grocery store. And upload it on your app and it's already paid for. You don't have to, you know, everything that you put on your app then uh, is in your in your Amazon account. And then you, when you want something, you just buy it. So thank you so much, Katie, for my 25K uh, subby. Congrats. Amazon card. It's on my Amazon account as we speak. Um, so that will go my little, um, my little thank you. And I'll probably attach... I'll probably attach this card to that and put it in the fibs, put it in the fibs book. Let's see. Put this, put this in the fibs book. I've got to get back to that too. I have a pile of stuff. I have a pile of stuff to put in the fibs book. I was going to bring it down and show it to you, but I'll probably tumble it all over. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, let's see, but it was so funny. Um, I don't know if Annie V's watching this she, and she did say she's, uh, how'd she put it? She was not pushing, pushing 80. What'd she say? She said, I heard you say you didn't know how old I am, which I knew she was elderly, but I didn't know how old she was. She says, I'm flirting with 80, but have not kissed it yet. <laughs> so that's our Annie V. But I was, when I was doing the happy mail on Saturday, I was thinking about her. I hadn't heard from her for a while. And, you know, she and her uh, family have had, you know, health issues and they're in a car. Her, she and her husband were in a car wreck a couple of years ago and had a lot of issues. So if you're a prayer, -er -er, I'd appreciate uh, adding uh, Annie V in your um, thoughts and prayers. And because um, she's her family has uh, things and she still takes the time to send stuff. But I was, she, I was thinking about her on Saturday when I was doing the happy meal. I go, I need to send. I'll send Annie V one of these blue J prints and um, and I'd sent it out before she sent me my birthday. And I thought, Oh, we must've been thinking of each other on the same day. Like we must've been thinking of each other at the same time. So, all right. So I got a couple other things I want to do. I showed y'all that I told y'all that uh, um, my granddaughter boo went to New York with one of her friends and family. I don't know who the people are in the background, but anyway, I got a, I printed off a couple pictures and I thought I would do a um, I have I got this kit at Hobby Lobby and it's uh, they were it's a paper studio kit, which means it's a Hobby Lobby brand you, and all their Hobby Lobby brands are 50 percent off like every other week. So anyway, um, this little kit here cost me about five bucks, came with, uh, I don't know, eight or ten papers, stickers, stickers, some embellishments. And uh, so I printed off a few pictures of Boo, and I thought I would just do a quick scrapbook page. So don't email me if you don't like scrapbooking. <laughs> Nobody would. I'm just, you know. So anyway, I thought I'd do a quick page. I haven't planned it other than I printed out the pictures last night. Um, and these are the ones I printed out. This one of her. This, And then I printed out the same picture close up. Like I might do, a, I don't know, some kind of a montage thing. And then um, this is when she was getting on the subway at Times Square. And uh, then she, there she is. Um, I, I, this one right here, I cropped and blew up. So it's like this is the same picture here, but just close up and far away. 
So, yeah. So I thought I'd just do a quick page. I got this big one of New York, and I'll put it in. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of juice. <clears throat> I'll put it in one of those 12 by 12 um, uh, frames for her. And uh, so she can put it in her room. I think I'll get a white one because, look, that just looks, you know, a white frame would probably be good. With some bricks. Uh, let's see what else. Just some, like, graffiti type paper here. Some taxi cabs. And uh, looks like a subway, the subway map. Um, that's what I'm thinking it is, the subway map there. So anyway, isn't that kind of fun paper? Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not going to bring out the app today, Elena, uh, Elena, Elena. But uh, so I thought I want I want to use this. And again, it's going to just be one page because it's going to go in a frame. Uh, so for her room. So I have to kind of plan out. Um, Got to kind of plan out what I want to do here. And do I want it straight on? Do I want it? You know, I don't know. Probably I like uh I like kind of doing that. And I'm going to put papers behind. I'll see what I can use, you know. I can also crop this down just a little. I cut these all out on my cutter, but. Um, something like this. And I'm going to put some other papers behind it. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, I don't know. That that's just a passenger. I, I like this because it has Times Square. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut him out. Do this. <laughs> I told y'all, I'll deconstruct anything. Now, I don't know. This is kind of a big picture. I might have to do a separate. Something like this page would be good. I'm, well, maybe I'll do two pages. I might, I think I might do two. I'll have to frame two pictures for her. I don't know if she's going to watch. She's going to be like, oh, man, I don't need all, I don't need all that. Uh, I don't need all those um, frame, <clears throat> frame pictures. Because <laughs> remember, they don't, they don't care about having these things, um, having these things, the actual pictures. They just put them on their Snapchat. <laughs> So, but I think I'm going to do two. So let's see. Do I have enough room to front to put do both of these? So I think that's what I'm going to do. That looks good to me. All right. So let's now go through and see what kind of. So when I do this is the kind I do an eclectic version of uh, scrapbooking. So what I'll do is like. Um, Okay, I'm going to have to cut this person out here because I need some room there. So if I do that and a little bit of a taxi cab. Uh, this one needs a little bit of graffiti here, so... Okay, let's trim that down so that New York shows at the top. We're at this, this, something like that. Okay, next paper. What other papers do I have here? I like a little bit of this. I'm not looking at chat for a second, guys. I'm trying to kind of crack a lack here. Something like this. Maybe a little bit down here. Don't know that that needs that. What else? <laughs> Y'all still with the tour? Are you still with the New York tour? <laughs> Okay, so I think, do I, need, I don't think I want any brick paper. Maybe a little piece of the brick paper right there. Let's 
that may detract as well. I might just need a little. Don't even know if it needs that. Oh, well, maybe. Something like this. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. What do y'all think? And then I've got the uh, embellishments and the stickers. That comes after I stick this stuff down. Okay, so this is how I work. <laughs> And I don't scrapbook as much as I used to, for sure. But this is how I uh, this is how I roll. Okay, so I'm gonna just, and it's gonna be behind a frame, so it doesn't need to be. Um, I don't have to, you know. I don't use a lot of tape. I just use a piece of double sided tape. This. It'll be in a frame so it won't it won't go anywhere. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? It's not gonna move. Okay. That one. Again, I'm doing these for well, I, I'll take photographs of them and keep a picture of them myself, but I'm really doing them for her. Um, and then you know, she probably said, I don't really uh, she may not. She may she, I mean she'll say thank you. She will be appreciative of it, but will she really think it's something that she really would want or use or something? But, uh, all right, so there we go. So something like that. Okay, there's our two pages. <laughs> Next we're going to start scrapbooking again. I know, right? Right, Kathy Burke? I know. So there's those. I'm trying to stay in frame with the two pieces. All right, so now... We've got these here, so let's see. What do I want to do? This is this is where we get to play with all the little goodies. And I want to put her name on here. Do I just want to put Sam? Let's see. So I probably want to keep it kind of... These letters are kind of too little. I really need something bigger. Um, I need something bigger. That means I have to get out my stuff. Come on, guys. Got some, let me get, uh, let me pull a couple of, uh, got to pull a couple of other things here. I need some bigger letters or some bolder letters. Ah, maybe some, let's see what those colors look like. Or these gold ones. Uh, I, don't really, I don't know about the hollow ones. Maybe the hollow ones would be good. I don't know. That might be too. I got to look at the paper again. Um, hang on, guys. I'm, I'm finding some bigger stickers. These, oh, this has a good date. This will be a good date. Hmm. All right, let's see. All right. So I pulled some gold ones. At least, for, at least I'll put the uh, date, 2020, 2020 on here. Don't need that. Okay, let's see. Uh oh, um, that one tore. <laughs> Don't want it up here. I don't care if things are not, uh, you know, I don't measure. I don't measure anything. I don't measure anything. And some of this will probably be covered up anyway. All right, 2020. All right, let me check chat. Who am I missing? Hi, Matt. I know. Hit the, hit the thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> it's because I'm scrapbooking. I don't get as many thumbs up. I did like the hollow, but I think it's a little much. 
I mean, if I was just doing Times Square or something, maybe at night. But um, I think I'll go with that. Let's see. Do I want gold letters for her name? Maybe. I don't know that it's, it's not going to show up very much. See, that's why I went with those big letters. Maybe I'll just put it down here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> gonna be a little crooked don't email me it's like i don't care a a n t let's make sure i spell her name right <laughs> okay so we got the name we got that i don't need any more alphabets um, maybe if i had the right colors for the giant new york like if i had a ny in the in the good matching colors let's move that i don't need that let's see let's open this up Let's see what NY we have. Uh, yeah, see, it's got a pink, but I don't really like, I mean, it kind of goes with the picture, but it doesn't go with the, let's look at the, oh, here we go. Uh, if she keeps them together, then the N would look good with this. I mean, she has the both pictures together, like, you know. Because that, that'll pull this teal color in. Let's see. I'm not looking at chat, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to uh, crack a lack on this. Oh, I like that. Oh, you know what? I could use, let's see if I can pull that back off now. I could use the U upside down for an N. All right, where did this go? Where can I put this? <laughs> I need to find where I put it so I can save it. Yeah, oh, where'd it go? I'll put it back on the card. I'm going to be able to put it on the back. Hang on, guys. I'm going to put this one back on the card wherever I found it. I can't find it again. Well, oh, there it is. Okay. So I'll use the U upside down, and it'll look like an N. And then we can do... N Y eh, got a little lost there. Do I want to put it over here? Eh, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, because I'm gonna add other things. I'm gonna add other things on top of it. All right, so I want to kind of pile it up. Okay, subway over here. Um, I got these arrows. I really like these arrows. Are y'all still with me? <laughs> no, it's supposed to, it's going to be crooked. I don't, I don't measure things out. Okay, so let's do. Let's do some arrows here. Oh, that might be enough arrows. All right, let's see. New York City. It's very, um, it's very just by feel here. <laughs> I just kind of go like, what, what's going to work here? 
Welcome to New York. I don't know that I need that on the go. Little NYC. I like this. I'm gonna have to get down, baby. I have to get down. A little NYC hashtag. I like that. Kind of like this with the. Or I kind of like this one. May not need it. I'll go right there. All right, now let's see over here. My heart, New York. Let's put. Um, let's put that in here. <laughs> you know, I can, okay, I'm trying to stay in camera. I'm so zoomed in. Okay, I think it's enough of those. Now we got. Uh, I like some of these little hearts here, these little glitter hearts. Oh, well, I just peeled that off. What the heck? Do I need to just glue it? What's wrong with this sticker? Did I just peel it off the wrong spot? I think that's what it did. There we go. I'm going to put that on top there. And I'll use a couple of these. I'm not wanting to peel off very easy. They're coming off on the card and not peeling the sticker back off. Come on. Now I get a pokey tool. There it goes. A couple of little glitter hearts. And then maybe I need to put, I don't know if, uh, this has 2020 here, but I think I want a 2020 in this. Do I have enough? Where's the numbers? No, there's not any numbers with this set. Okay, let's go with the little, let's go with the embellishment pack. I'm going to use the New York City. i got to see where do I want that. Do I want that right over there? I think I do. There we go. <laughs> uh, I like the little cab. I don't like those little, oh, that's a little ticket thing. Well, maybe. Let's see. I like the little cab here. And uh, you are here like that. The little geo tag. Let's put that right there. New York City tag. Do I want that? Maybe. Let's see. Okay. I think I want these to kind of swoof underneath. Kind of be caught up under there, maybe. So it's not so in your face, literally. Little tag thing. Something like that. Okay. Let's see. There's this one I like that little heart. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. <laughs> there we go. We got our two page spreads done. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Do I want this camera in here somewhere? All right. How's that look? All right. There we go. There's boost. And I'm going to put, a, I'll get two uh, white frames. I'll get two white frames to put them in. And I'll probably put them on a piece of cardstock. Let's see here. Oh, do I have one handy? I had some white cardstock handy. Let's see. Reach up here in my cardstock collection. It's just paper with some cardstock. Let me see. Do I have some teal color? Let's look. Come on, guys. I'm reaching up here. Let me find some teal color. I might trim those down and put some teal cardstock behind it. That would be good if I can match two. Let's see. I don't know. This is riveting YouTubeism. 
but um yeah <laughs> i'm looking for the right shade let me see see i'm looking in my uh card stock in the in the blue pack here <laughs> i don't go through nearly enough anymore um see like this is the kind of the color i need it's a little bright i need a little bit grayer let's see a little more uh minty a little more mint green. That might be in my greens. I bet I have to go to the greens to find that minty green because I'm in kind of the teals and the blues. Let's see about the greens. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't have a minty green. <laughs> oh, thank you, Devin. Ah, I think I do have some minty. Let's pull these colors here. And there's uh, this color. This is what I'm looking for here. But I don't know if I have two. Is that the same color? Ah, I did. Okay, we're in business. All right, so what I'm going to do real quick is... Mm. Where is this? I'm going to trim this down. We want the texture side up. Okay. This is 12. <clears throat> this is 12 by 12. So um, I just want a little bit of edge of that teal color. And then this will go in the 12 by 12 frame. Yeah. Okay. So same for this one. Let's see where I can trim this down a little. Let's trim a little off of this side. No, I don't want to cut off that New York. Don't want to cut off the Lady Liberty. I just want a tiny, tiny bit. Just so it has a tiny sliver. All right. I think I got that. If I go up to see her on Sunday, I'll just go um, go run over to Michael's this week. Get a couple of little uh, 12 by 12 frames. This could be cut just a little bit more. All right, there we go. Thanks, guys, for humoring me. Bye, Matt. <laughs> I told you I run people off with scrapbooking, I'm telling you. Okay, so do I want it this way? I think um, there we go. What do y'all think? How's that look for two double page spreads in 15 minutes? <laughs> I don't I don't care if it's cut straight. See, I like it a little off, a little wonky. I like it a little wonky. Yeah, didn't cut the torch off. There we go. So there we go. I think I'm happy with that. We might be zoomed in one too close. Let's zoom out one. There we go. All right. So I hope she likes those. Um, except for the string has got to be. I got to figure out where I want those to go. I want the strings there, but I don't want it to be too in the way uh, maybe i should go the other way that's what i should do I should go this way with them so that they kind of stick there we go kind of like that something like that thanks guys all right so yeah there's my uh there's my granddaughter in new york city All right. Thanks, guys, for humoring me to get that done.
All right, next. <laughs> next, let's see here. Let's move this up here. And uh, so I thought we might work on some art journal pages. And I usually work on two, I'm working, well, not usually, sometimes, depending on what I'm working on, work on two at a time. Let me, uh, <clears throat> I gotta tape my little paper down there. All right. All right. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah. Whew. Catch my breath now. So I've been working in my two Arteza journals. And what I, I start, let me just say first off, how I start these, and they will get even fluffier than this. But what I start when I do these kind of journals, and I have other ones that I've um, pretty much finished, and kind of like the desk journal, but this is more purposeful. The desk journal is like leftover stuff. This is the same type of journaling, but on purpose, uh, purposeful, not just leftover stuff. So these are the two little Arteza books that I got. This one was a set. This was a two-page, uh, I mean, a two-book two, two book, uh, set that I bought. This one came in a three, in three. Um, and so what I do is, first off, let me just find a page here where this just glued down. So I will go by colors. I do, too. I love fluffy journals. I'll go by colors to start a blank page. Should I pull one of those other journals? Mm -hmm. I think I might pull one that's kind of like this, but bigger. Hang on. My Dilusions journals. Hang on. I got the three or four of those, and I didn't show those. I didn't show my Dilusions the other day. I've shown them before, but I didn't show these the other day. So I have four of these Dilusions journals, these Ranger Dilusion journals, which I did faux leathers on, three of them. And then on the fourth one, it, it's my uh, collage on. And uh, so just to kind of show you how these are all the same thing, the way I do it. And they're not all full and finished, but what they are, let's make some space. Um, what they are is I'll glue collage fodder down just, and usually it goes by color. Um, and then I'll, then I'll start playing on it, putting paint and other things until it starts becoming a little world. These two have some paint on them. Do I have any more in here? Yeah, I got this one started. And you want to skip around in the journal so that you don't um, warp your spine. Let's see. Do I have any more in here that's paint on it? This one I started painting. This one I started painting. And this one I started painting. <clears throat> so that's, that's all I've got painted in this one have a little bit more painted in this one. So what I thought I would do today is play and paint and just, you know, continue on so you can see process. So the, that may start like this with going by color, you know, and uh, then I'll add things to it. And I never really feel like these are done. I always think that I can continuously, and you'll see when I show you the Ranger ones, I always feel like I can go back at any time and continue on them. If I varnish them, then that means they're done. If I put a coat of varnish on them, it's done. And there are some in these journals that are varnished in these bigger ones. So when they're varnished, then they're done. Now, that being said, <laughs> when I say varnish, I use a water-based. Let me show you the varnish I use. Uh, where did I put it? Where did I put my varnish? Oh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. I use the Delta Ceram Coat Interior Exterior Gloss Varnish. It's water-based. It's water-based varnish. Cost uh, about $10, $11 a bottle, but it lasts for a long, long time. You don't use much. You only use about the size of a half dollar on a page. Um, so, But it lasts a long time. But here's the thing about varnishing your pages. If you don't fixative them or, you know, if you have anything that will move, if you use any kind of 
inks or water-based things, then you go to varnish it. If you haven't fixatived it, um, then it'll move. So you have to be aware of what you're using, especially if you're doing multiple books, multiple pages, and multiple products. I don't ever always remember what I used on every page, right? Because I work in so many journals. And uh, these aren't even including my um, abandoned books, right? So you have to be aware of what you're using. If you use water-based inks or watercolors and then you go varnish it, you're going to move. You're going to move that varnish. No, it's because you're getting your page wet, uh, Christine. It, it, you know, when you wet a page, <laughs> when you wet a page that's got water, like watercolor on it, then you go to varnish any kind of varnish without it being fixatived, then it can, then it'll, it'll move. So I have a couple where I've just started adding paint and that's probably what I'll do some of today. Um, so if I start with like a page like this, that has just collage, collage fodder on it. I try to do these pages layout by color, two to three colors, you know, two to three colors. Hi, Jeanette. Um, Vani, I know I'm missing people. And uh, then I'll go to this stage where I start painting it in. Okay. So this has got some paint on it. This one's got some paint on it. This one does not. So this will be the next stage on this page. We'll probably add to be gray and orange paint. So I'll, you know, use, and I just use craft paint, you know, craft paint. And uh, start blending that in. And then I'll start building a world off of it. So I'm just going to kind of flip here so you can see. If there's no paint, then that's, that's just at stage one, right? This is, then here we got some paint on this one. No paint, no paint. So I'm just going to flip real quick so you can see. This one's got paint on it. Paint on it. Paint. No paint. And so, and I'll, and I'll just go to a page that I feel like I see something, that I see a world building thing in there, and I'll start, I'll work on that page. And then if I get stuck or something, then I'll just stop working on it and either move on. There's always something just to throw some paint on. If you get stuck in your art journal and you just have some collage fodder down, if you pull out your paints and just start blending things in, even if you just do that, you're, you're using your creativity or using, you know, you're not just sitting there in a funk, you know, you're, you're doing something. So um, this one, I really like this one. And um I don't see anything in caps, um, so I'm going to keep rolling here. Remember, if y'all want to ask me anything, uh, put it in caps. Make sure you have live chat selected, and thanks for the thumbs up. So these are just like bases. Now, I'm going to show you my bigger journals here in a minute. This one's got some paint on it. So just adding the paint will start making it cohesive, okay? But the colors, I've already started with the colors, right? I've already started with color. So then when I go to add other colors on there, I've already got something to go from. Like this one. I really like this where th how this one's going. You know, I'll probably have some stars in here. Like let me get this that see i'm already starting to build something here i'll probably have stairs i'll turn some these into stairs right here so this is just oh thanks thanks my color And uh, start doing, you know, this looks like a little, uh, like a little doors or vents or something down here. So down here, there'll probably be some water, 
maybe some water will be, you know, dripping down off of here or something, you know, uh, some little uh, water. And this will be water down in here. Y'all know I love, I love to add the element. I haven't even added any watches to these yet. I love to add the element of time. I like space. So I add a lot of stars. I like water, mist, fog. So that's the kind of thing that I'll add to these because that's just what I like. And so that's what I do. <laughs> you know? uh, so again, you know, you can see I just started with color. And that's that one. So I'm still continuously working in this one. So those are the two current ones that I'm working in because they're the new Arteza ones. Hi, Cheryl. All right, so let me show you, so, and I don't know in what order these are. Um, and so this one was, all right, so this was the last one that I started working. So it has the least amount done in it. So I have a few things just glued in, but as you can see, I've quit at some point in these journals and moved on to something else. Again, you can see the colors. This is what I start with when I do collage. So, you know, I... I, this is just how I work. I'm not saying it's the only way to work. I'm not even saying it's the right way to work. I'm just saying this is how I work. Um, ear, earworm. We got our ear. <laughs> Don't be so random with your writer. That's just how I am. And uh, so this book is only halfway done. But you can see I'll start with something I just like. The, you know, these peacock feathers inspire me. So I glue them down. Will I get back to this journal? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it doesn't bother me. It just doesn't bother me not to, you know, have full journal front to back finished. And this one's a little warped because I think it's the way it's sitting on the shelf. But uh, you can see I've got some starts going here. Like I said, this was the one that has the least amount done in it. And then I'll turn these into worlds with paint. Okay, so here's one. This is finished and varnished. So if it's shiny, it's varnished and it's done because I don't go back and try to put something on top of varnish. This is one of the pieces that I've done that's a reversible. I do these every now and then. And what it is, is it can go this way or it can spin around and go this way. So it's like, uh, it's like a it's not a mirror image, but it's like um, a reflective world so it can go either way. So I do these every now and then I don't do them too often because it does take a little bit of thought. And when I'm trying to do them in chat, I have to think a little more on these. <laughs> you like the unfinished journals to go back and say, what the heck was I thinking? <laughs> well, I, I usually know what I was thinking. Uh, you, Eileen, I usually know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so that one's done and again here's some more that are just based in you know it's like a base painting <laughs> this one's done this is one of my favorite ones and it does have glitter on it and glitter's a little tricky because you do when you varnish it you know you want to make sure and it depends on the glitter if you're using stickles i believe this was actual real glitter on this feather i cut this feather out on my um die cut you know on her majesty camille my cameo silhouette so this feather is cut out it's also was embossed before uh i don't know before or after i cut it out but anyway so here is my um uh, my praying native american lady and she's got a little glitter in her hair glitter there there's a little glitter throughout um so anyway um there's her prayer there's the water, the waves, the space. There's some stairs going up this way. Here's another little world over in there. Um, so I, I really, I really love this one, the way it turned out. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, this one was a fail. This one, everybody thought these looked like uh, honey bun. <laughs> Honey buns, you know, little pastries, and it does. It was this was supposed to be wind, wind coming out from here, and then the wind looked like it turned into honey buns. So this one is like not, this one. I wouldn't call it a fail because you learn something every time. And this was 2016, uh, but they look like <laughs> they look like little honey buns. Oh, but uh, so this one is a uh, let's see. 
This one's a winner. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. This one is a this one is a honey bun fail. <laughs> it's not really. A, I mean, I like it, but because of this, this distracts me. So anyway, then again, I got some more uh, just started here. This one's done, and there are a lot of these. If not, I, I'll say most. Most of these are done on stream. And there's videos for these. If you go look in my mixed media, art journal, or collage, one of those three, because I, I would have put them in all three. I would have put them in mixed media, collage, and art journal. So in one of those three playlists, you'll find um, you'll find the videos where I make these. <laughs> so this one was kind of a complicate, more complicated one. But again, see the colors, orange, red, and, and I love, I love Payne's Gray. Um, probably my three favorite color combinations are Payne's Gray, Sienna, and Ochre. Those are my three favorite colors, like Renaissance, red, yellow, and blue. And so um, anytime I do a color, I, I just love color um, combinations. So that's all that's in this one. And again, I think this was the last one I worked in. So it has the least amount in it. And um, so I don't know in what order these are going. All right. Oh, th this was my first one. So this was in 2013. And again, um, I, there's somewhere in my videos, I'm not sure what it would be under, but I did a faux leather. I did a light leather and a dark leather faux painting leather. Of course, they're kind of beat up now. I mean, you know, because I use them. Um faux leather technique thing. <laughs> so anyway, this was in 2013. And I painted the insides too. Um, and what I, originally, this was my first Ranger uh, Dilutions journal. And I was going to use it for calligraphy. I hadn't, at 2013, I hadn't done really much calligraphy other than a few uh, dojo certificates for my local karate dojo certificate, you know, for the graduates. <laughs> so I hadn't really done a lot of calligraphy. And I said, well, I'm going to make a book. I'm going to, I'm going to use this one for calligraphy. Well, this was the only page I did. This was the only page that I did with some calligraphy and I did my initials. And um, so I started it, but I said, no, I'm really not in the mood to do a whole book of calligraphy because I used to do calligraphy professionally in the eighties. Um, and then, you know, in the 90s, when desktops came out, everybody was thinking, you know, I don't need you to do calligraphy for me. I can just print it out with fonts. Right. So it kind of fell off for a while. But, you know, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. So this one's done and varnished. So, again, if you see it shiny, that means it's finished and varnished this as well. And um, so some of them are quite. Let me see. Let me get here. Let's put this book behind there to prop it up to get the glare off a little bit of glare off. There we go. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Wander around in my playlist. Thanks, my color. <laughs> uh, so these are done and varnished. So um, again, you know, uh, I like some more than others. And they have stories in my head. You know, the stories in my head to what they mean. But it's like, I want people to look at it and see what they want to see in it. What, you know, uh, I know what I, in my head, what I was thinking when I created it. And sometimes I'll say, you know, but I, I try to leave it up to the person, the viewer to make, you know, to be in that world and to see. Um, okay, thanks, G. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. I have happy mail coming to you, G. Um, so I, I, um, I try to leave it up to the person viewing what they see in it. Right. So this one's varnished. This one's varnished. I think most of these at the beginning here are finished. And by the way, the, this varnish does not make, as long as you let it dry. Let it dry overnight before you close the book. I have books on piled on top of these books, on top of books, on top of books. And as long as they're uh, completely dry, they're not going to stick. They don't stick at all. Okay. So there's this one. Okay. 
but you know, a lot of them have a lot of going on. And that's what I'm going to do in these little books. I want a lot going on in those. Lots of, st lots of stuff going on in the world. <clears throat> now, see, I, I look back at this and I think, I sure made those, made those shooting stars awful thick. See, I don't do that anymore. I don't make them that thick. <laughs> I, I've made them more subtle. But on these, they were, and maybe it was just because the Posca, and maybe it wasn't even Posca. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't have my Posca pins at this time. With the Posca pins, you can get those nice thin lines. Well, you can do it with a paintbrush too, but more than lot, often than not, you know, I, I'm in a hurry when I'm doing these because <laughs> I'm doing them on the show. No, I don't tell. I, you, you, it's up to, you know, it's what's in you you're going to see. That's what I like about um, uh, surrealism, you know, and I, I just like that, you know, you, everybody can see what they want to see in there. And I do the same thing, like looking at Salvador Dali and stuff. I mean, you know, he's, he has explanations for some of it and people have interpreted things. But I like to look at it and figure out what I see in it, right? What what's How's it meaningful to me? <clears throat> so oh thank you Devin yeah these are from 2013 this was like I said this was my first um start to uh well um what do you call it a uh, blank blank journal starting with from scratch in here before doing these journals I would do individual pieces and I've shown y'all that before where I would do collage paintings on board. Okay. Um, I would do collage. I'll have to pull one out here to show you for an example. I would do collages. This was the purpose of collage when I first started doing collages. And I don't have some of the oldest ones. But um, I would do collages and use that as a reference at, for a painting. In other words, I would say do a collage like this. Then I would take that and turn it into a painting on board. So then I would paint the whole scene. And it would have never be an exact copy. Here, let me see if I can find one to show you. They're under the... I'm going in. I'm going under. Let's see if I can find one. Well, here's one sample. Let's see what else Hang on, guys. Some of them I don't have the collage samples because the collage. Some of my collages are in journals, um, and I can't show you the before. So let me find something that has a before. Oh, here's one. Here's a good one. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, this is a good one. All right. So. These are back before like 2012 or 13 as well. So what I would do, let me show you a couple different ones. This, the first one I'm gonna show you is not done, but I, will, I pulled it out to show you an example. So here's one of my collages on, on just a sketchbook paper or some Bristol or something, right? And it does even, it, I even glued a stencil. <laughs> um, so anyway, I liked this right here this was the part i liked of this collage right i like this so i started and it's not done but you can see where i started doing a painting a painting of that area see so let's see if you can see see the little lock there so i started doing a collage off of that but this one's not done this next one is done so here's what I started with. This is a collage that I did just on sketchbook paper or cardstock, whatever. Okay. So this is collage and paint. So, you know, this is a, a little bit of collage here, paint, paint, you know, just there's paint within here, right? With some bits of collage. So I took this and turned it into a painting. <clears throat> so here's the painting. Okay, so I use this kind of like a reference. I'm not copying it exactly. It, it, I'm using it as a reference. Like there was this tree branch right here is not near as defined here. And so, um, yeah, so I would use, I would use my uh, collage as sketches 
and turn them into paintings like this on, on board. You know, the, you know, this is just an artist loft board. This one is a 16, 12 by 16. Okay. So this is what I would turn them, you know, turn them into like this based off my collage. And I have a pile, I've shown them before. I have a whole pile of those. Um, but anyway, so, you know, then I just started doing art journaling just for the journaling itself. Although I could take these and turn them into a painting, right? I could, I, any of these, I could turn into a painting if I wanted. Right? You won't spoil it for us if you tell us we will receive. No, 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 no. You got to just use your imagination. Use your imagination. All right, here. This one's Father Time. There you go. There's Father Time. <laughs> so... So anyway, I, I, I like some better than others, you know. I like this one. This one's not varnished, so it's not done. Where's my owl? I thought my owl was in here. So, so you can see I got just starts. This is how they start. This is how my painting starts. Like this. <laughs> it's usually based on a color. I thought my owl one was in here. Did I pass it up? Not this owl. I have another owl one. Although I do like this one too. So let's see. Do I miss it or... It might be in another book. Or another. Yeah, I think it's in a different book. So anyway, there's that one. Then, oh, throw that down there. I'm sitting on my foot. It's going numb. <clears throat> this one was going to be, this one was going to be um, where I was, I showed how to use color book pages in your collage. So this one has, um, some color book pages that I would color, cut out, and use. Because I wanted to show people, you know, a lot of times, and I'm not talking about your $25 color book, your $40 color book that has fairy tales in it, like your, um, what do you call it? Um, I can't think of their names right off the bat. I'm not talking about your hardback color books that have a complete fairy tale in them. I'm talking about your inexpensive color books that you might have colored something and it's just sitting in a book. You can cut them out and use them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. This one's 2015 here. That's a napkin. So, this one was going to be a combination of things. Now, this one doesn't have any color book page on. This is just, it's got, these are my silhouette cameo cutouts. There's my time portal right there. And then you can see all kinds of things here going on. I have like, where's who? Um, this kind of thing I post. Yeah, yeah. So you can, you know, reuse things. This is a, we did a biker pug. That's an actual drawing from a sketchbook. I cut them out and glued them in this sketchbook. <clears throat> but that's my, uh, I used my sister, sister-in-law's pug. His name was Chug, Chug the pug. And I turned him into a biker. So I painted him. He's got a bone in his ear. He's got a, you know, time watch on his helmet. He's got a, a tattoo and a spike collar. <laughs> and she's going, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jamie. This one's not done. A lot of these are not done, you know, I, but I never feel like I have to fit them. <clears throat> I just like to make worlds. All right, here's one where I use these giraffes are from a creative haven. <clears throat> I'm going to get a sip of juice. <clears throat> Losing my voice. These are from a creative haven color book. Now, let me give you a, a hint and a tip if you want to use your color book pages in your mixed media. 
Don't cut them out. I've got a couple in here. I did that to show why you don't want to do it. Um, don't cut them out, glue them in and then try to color them because you will be color when you color them, you're going to be picking up any texture from the paint, any glue, any collage, you'll pick up all that texture when you color them. You need to color them, then cut them out, and then glue them. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Um, so then use your color book images in your piece. But don't try to glue them down blank and color them because you'll be picking up, you know, kind of like when you, um, when you do a rubbing, when you do a rubbing on pa with paper and a pencil. You know, I've done, you know, some graveyard rubbings and some different things where you rub uh, like here. Like, let's just take this stencil, for instance. I know most of y'all know what I'm talking about, but you put a paper on a uh, on, on something rough and you take a, a pencil. And you do a rubbing. OK, like that. That's what's going to happen if you try to color pencil over if you've glued it down a blank one on top of your paint and collage and all you're just going to be making rubbings with it so you know okay this one's not done well most of these are not completed because they're not varnished if they're not varnished they're not done or I, I wouldn't say they're finished so here's an example um, of where this angel I cut her out and glued her on and then started doing some pens on like, that's not working it's picking up the texture you can all, you can kind of see where it's picked up some texture from the collage underneath so you don't want to do that cuz you'll you'll just i mean unless you want the texture this is a color book page i haven't glued her in this is from the look book the look um the look color book this one's you know one of my, was one of my favorites at the time so colored her and she's not glued in yet, but uh, this is the page that she'll go on eventually. <laughs> so I really, I really like the jean. That turned out really nice. And then I use use some silver gel pen, silver silver gel pen. You probably can't see it, but silver gel pen on the zipper to make it stand out. So we're going to work in the, these journals here in a minute. I'm going to continue on so you can kind of see the process. So, um, again, so this is like stage two here. This is where I've glued something on, like, uh, well, this one's got mostly done stuff. But anyway, um, where you glue something down, like, like glue something down, and then you go add paint next. Well, this has got the paint added onto it. Color book, color book. But again, colored. On, in the book or, uh, you know, tore the page out and colored it and then cut it out and glued it in after the fact so that she doesn't have, like, texture in her skin. Uh, this one's not done. Color books. These three fairies are, I think, from two different color books. Then I added some collage elements, painted in the water, painted in these mountains, a little bit of stenciling going on, just a little bit of, you know, whatever. Uh, hi from Greece, Krissa. Welcome, Krissa. Not done. I'm just going through some more of my art journals. We're going to work on them. This is a color book page, and she's on top of sprayed ink. So here's an example. If I'm not mistaken, that's Dilutions ink, right? And I, I colored her, cut her out, glued her on top. But if I go in here, and maybe, I'm not sure if this is Dilutions, but what I'm saying is that then if you go back and work in it, if you put water on it, it's going to move. Okay, so I don't think that's – well, maybe uh, it'll move again. So you got to be careful when you use water-based mediums. If you go to varnish it later or whatever, color book page not done. This little pirate girl, she I want her on this page somewhere, but she's not – She's not there yet. This page isn't there yet. This is from a um, Dover clip art book. This one's this one's pretty much done, but I haven't varnished it. I did. There's a stream on this one. I'm pretty sure. Here's just some leftover stencil stuff. Here's um, here's a giant hand 
she's floating on a or riding on a hand here. She's looking up at her little fairies reading books. And there's glitter. There's uh, stickles on these. There's glitter on these. You can see the glitter. There you go. See the glitter. Um, <laughs> thank you, Carla. Uh, this one's going to be a Goldilocks and the however many bears. <laughs> Not done, just, you know, we do a lot of play on the show. I like, I like to inspire people to start. Whether you ever see a completed page or not, I want you to know what to do, how to do it, the technique, you know, and go try something yourself. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me that you're seeing unfinished pages. It just doesn't bother me at all. These are from a color book. She's from a color book. Stencil, collage, paint all behind. So just so you can kind of see here, steampunk girl from a color book, still working on that. You know, and these aren't even glued down yet. <laughs> Some fractals. I love fractals. I didn't see a fractal calendar calendar this year. Um, this is my uh, steampunk time travelers. So the, my tip on this one that I, again, it's a color book page, but it's been cut out and glued in. Don't be afraid. Like I see those little drips there. I added that. I painted the water right over the top of them. Don't be afraid to, to go on top of them. Don't feel like you just have to cut it out, smack it down on the book and just leave it like that. Go in there, paint over it. Add details, add splatters and drip, do whatever you want. You don't have to leave it, right? And so um, there's their time portal over here. There's a guy up here in the time portal watching them. And um, so, yeah, this is one of my, uh, probably my favorite page in this book. Bye, Kalora, Becky. I haven't checked Becky's. I'm going to sit here while Becky, she's probably already gone. Hi, Julie, by the way. Um, Becky does awesome portraits and she's been doing commissions. We got her brave been doing commissions. Let me find, uh, go to my Instagram here and see if she's po posted anything lately in the, in the, oh, uh, the last thing she was working on was th this one here. So, um, I don't know if she's taking commissions right now, but, uh, yeah. I don't see that she's doing anything. Uh, she's just doing, saying, I had no cheese, so I was crack a lack. <laughs> That's one of our sayings around. You got to get crack a lack in. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, um, but don't be afraid to paint over something you've added. And that's the same thing with your cold. You know, just again, just in different stages. I love this. I say that all the time every time I come to this page. I don't care if I ever do anything to this page. Everything, I love everything about this page. I just love this page. Uh, this one, Colleen, and I. Uh, and here's another uh, example of what I usually don't do. In scrapbooking, I would add a lot of dimensional things, right? But in my journals, I don't because it, it makes it hard to work on the, on the other side uh, if you add dimensional items. But Colleen had sent me these things. She'd made these coffee cups and these flowers and she'd made these little cards and little thank you tags. So I did do a double page spread with text uh, with the dimensional items that I usually don't do. But I did this one. Um, there used to be a great program called Fractal Paint by Corel. It was good. Oh, OK. I don't want to I don't want to have to make it. I, I don't want to have to make the fractals in. I just want to use them in my art. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I, you know, I've been practicing on my, uh, I've been practicing on my iPad Pro that I got, Denise got me for Christmas. And so I have been practicing some digi stuff. Um, and I do want to do things like take pictures of this and put it in my digi programs. I have three that I'm working through uh, learning. Uh, let me tell you what they are. I they, think they, they are clouded to my phone although I never use them on my phone but I use procreate sketchbook and painter oh and I have adobe draw too I think I paid 12 bucks for adobe draw so I have adobe draw painter and sketchbook and procreate those are the four that I have on my ipad 
and uh, so uh, easier to print them out. Yeah, I want to uh, take photos of these and, and import them into my those paint programs and see what I can do with it digitally compared to uh, painting glue, but, which I love to do. I, I mean, I'll never stop doing this as long as, you know, the good, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> I'll be doing uh, handmade stuff too. So, yeah. There's another steampunk girl. Color book page. This is just some leftover stencils and stuff. Leftover stuff. Again, I don't I don't ever feel like, you know, I, I like, I'm enjoying, I enjoy just this much of the process. It inspires me. It's like my own eye candy. Making my own eye candy. Um, what did what you did was put a reference image into a fractal for you. Yeah. And it turns it into the fractal. Ian. Okay. So sometimes I just like the colors. You know, this one's, this one's done. It's not varnished, but it's done. The little fish, the little fish uh, or from a color book. This right here was a leftover alphabet stencil, some paint still on the stencil. So I smacked it down and it left this impression and it looked like this looked like an aquarium to me. So I kind of just did some uh, graphite uh, details on it to make it look like a, a an aquarium castle for the fish, you know. So this was kind of uh, this. I like this. Again, it's, you know, look at the color. See, I'm doing colors. Look, purple and orange, green and purple, you know. Teal and black and gray. Same thing. Teal, black, gray. A little bit of touchy of a yellow ochre. This is another girl from his color book. So this, this book right here is I was trying to show a lot of using color book imagery. Um, this was just a steampunk. We just drew this, just drew these. Uh, I say we because I would have done it on camera. If you were here, it's we. So yeah. Purple and blue. So yeah. Here's one we did. This was on, there's a video on this one. So I just like making worlds. I just like making worlds. Color book. I think that's probably about it. So yeah, that one there. See, all right, here's a good example. This is what happens to your spine. Now, this one is a little bit different situation because it's the spine is not attached to the book itself. Uh, but this is what happens if you work front to back. It will warp the spine. Oh, thank you, Dad. The steampunk. Okay, so there's that. And then this one, I think, is my last one that I worked in. And it's, again, maybe, I don't know. Anyway. 2016, so it wasn't the last one, but uh, this one I did um, did uh, my paintings and collage mixed media, and I varnished the covers. So both of these um, have, you know, worlds on the front and back cover. Oh, thank you, Devin. I hope it's inspiring, and I try to explain everything I do. I tell you all the products. I show you multiple times how to how I do stuff. This one here, varnished, you know, done varnished. So these have a little bit more, and there are videos on these, uh, I think on all of them. So these are from 2016, um, but there's more detail in them. So let's see if I can kind of hold them up so you can kind of see. But they all start fairly much the same. Um, it, and that's with just, uh, I don't know, do I have any start? Yeah, like this. Okay, they'll start like this. This is how they start, you know. And then then I go to paint, and then I it's the details that make it. But it's usually the details that take the longest and that we have the least amount of time to do. So I try to do, you know, um, as much as I can so you can see the details as we uh, do them. Here's one. So this is what I'll, st I'll start with. Something like this. And then add things until I make a world out of it. I think some of these are from an abandoned places calendar. 
let me put that, hang on, let me put this book back. I'm going to prop it up just to take that little bit of glare off. <clears throat> So this is what you can see I'll, I'll start with. And usually color. It's usually color is what I use to tie things together. So like this is like a sinking, this looks like a sinking ship. So see where that torn paper is? See that torn paper looks like water. So I would, maybe I should work on this one. I'm getting inspired to work on this one. Hmm, maybe I'll hold that. Let me, let me put a post-it on here. Just by seeing that torn edge, I, go, I want this to, I want my, I want my sinking ship to come to life. I want it to come to life right now. <laughs> This one's done and varnished. Okay. This one, obviously, I was working front to back because there's some blank pages in between. This one's done. This is one of my favorites in this book. So there's like, there's this world, there's this plane, this dimension or plane up here. And then underneath of it, there's this world underneath that world. And then there's space down here. So you got little planet up there, got little stairs over there. So you got to look. There's a lot of little details that I paint in that you have to really look for. <laughs> so... Hi, hi, Melinda. Thank you. Thanks for being here. This one's done. There's a, there's a video for this one, too. So you can see some of the detail down in here. There we go, right there. It's like a, like a, I think of this as like a, uh, you know, the time machine in the 1800s, like a steampunk, some kind of a, some kind of a mechanical thing right there. And here's a fail. And I and I show this and I shouldn't show this. I shouldn't show it the last one. You should always uh, leave on a leave on a positive piece. <laughs> but this one is what this is one of those things where I said, I wish I had Digi because I can so envision this. I can so envision this fish coming right out at you, popping out of the water, coming right at you with splashes coming out of this world and splashing through and I could not get the paint to do what I envisioned and that's this is one of those times where I go man if I could do that in digital <laughs> so this was a fail but you know hey it's a learning experience so that is this book and again I'm loving this I might just take a minute to work on it and then we'll go and then we'll work on these books I don't know that I want to finish this right now but I want to I just have I want to start it so let's go ahead. On the, I have these paper, these uh, wax papers cut to fit the smaller one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get bigger wax paper. You really want to put wax paper or some kind of paper behind your piece, especially if you're matte medium, using matte medium. Hang on, put these other things back. Because you'll glue your pages together if you don't. Okay, so let's get some. So we'll do a little art journal. I got some baby wipes. Baby wipes are like a paintbrush along with your fingers. And thank you, Janet, 
It'll, it'll be a while before I run out. She bought me two of these for my birthday. <laughs> so it'll be a while before I run out of matte medium. I know I've told you all the story before about my golden matte medium experience. But, and I'll tell it a little bit of it because I want you all to know, if Golden does still have their art um, helper program, I don't know if they still do, but um, some years ago, probably, I don't know, eight years ago, <clears throat> they had, a, a, I signed up for their art helper program. And if you do videos, blogs, vlogs, or anything like that, they would um, send you products as long as you had to pay for shipping. But they would send you products in, as long as you use them. Of course, you know. Um, hi, Jan. Um, of course, I used, you know, I'd use not this size, but the smaller size. I'd use one of those every couple of weeks doing my, you know, collages. And so, and that's what, if I had any extra money, if I had any extra craft money or art supply money, that's what I would buy, uh, matte medium. <laughs> and um, so anyway, I signed up for the program and asked that uh, <clears throat> that I just they asked what kind of products you want. And I said I just want matte medium. I know Golden has all kinds of paints, but I didn't. I not that I, their paints aren't great, but I use craft. I just use craft paint, right? I just use craft paint in all this. And so I didn't want any other painting. You know, I wasn't doing paintings at the time, so I didn't need any. You know, anything artist grade, whatever. I just wanted, um, you know, some matte medium to work on my collages on videos. So they said, okay, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep working here while I mean, before I work, let me get a brush. Um, so they, they contacted me back and said, okay, well, we got some matte medium for you. Um, the shipping will be $25. So I called in gave my credit card to pay for the shipping. A week or two later, I'm not sure exactly how long it's been, you know, like I said, it's been eight years ago or whatever. They sent me two cases. I think there was, well, how many were there in a case? Was there 24 in a case? I'm thinking there was 24. They weren't this big, but they weren't the small ones. They were like about half the size. I forget exactly what ounces. This was 32. So it must have been 16 ounces, maybe 16 ounces. They sent me like 32 or something jars of 16 ounce golden matte medium and and over the next say six years maybe i've used every single bit of it every bit of it i used <laughs> that's how much i that's how much i collage guys just saying <laughs> that's how that's how much i collage to go through 32 jars in eight years or no it wasn't even eight years six years anyway however long it was 24 jars so <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna pour some out here and uh and i do need to put a baggie on here so i'm gonna pour some out here and i'm gonna make sure and clean this off i did keep this little lid on here too but if you're unless you're extra extra careful and clean this very very well you want to put a baggie or piece of plastic over this let me do it just so I do, I do what I say. Yeah. Take a baggie of some kind of plastic, put it over the top, and then put your lid on so you do not glue. You do not want to take a chance to glue the lid. If you ever glue the lid to that jar, you will never get it off. Yeah, that's why Julie, Julie Topaz started me calling me Golden Girls. Because <laughs> I, would, I would, you know, use the Golden. I unboxed it. I don't have that video. That was back. I mean, I might have it on my external hard drive. It's not on YouTube. This was back when I was on Ustream before I was uploading to YouTube. I've only been uploading to YouTube for, I don't know, five years maybe. Um, before that, I was on Ustream and, and never loaded to YouTube before that. And Jean, um, Jean made me, is Jean here? Oh, that's no, Jan. Uh, Jean made me uh, start using YouTube. Okay. So um, I just have these tacked down. So they're, I'm just going to go ahead and they're already well tacked down. I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of matte medium and you want to put it on the back of the piece and on the 
on the base. You want it on both and you want to be generous with it. That's why I go through a lot of it. But you really need to do that if you want it to lie flat and no wrinkles. So I'm going to be real generous here. These are already tacked down, so I'm not going to peel them off. I'll just go around here. Okay, and then you go over the top. And then you take a card, you take a card and you mash it down. And then you'll have excess on the card and just scrape that off and keep using it. So you're getting out all the air bubbles and any um, wrinkles. And you're coating your whole page with matte medium. Okay. And really, you should I should really peel this off if I want it really perfectly glued. But I'm just kind of, I want to get to the other journal. <laughs> I want to get to the other journal. But I wanted to just kind of get inspired by this one. By this page. So I'm just going to glue this down real quick. And matte medium is hard to get off your hands. Um, I used to have a I have a craft scrubby. I don't even know if Ranger makes those anymore. They should if they don't. But okay, so I got that mashed down fairly well. Get as much excess off my hands as possible. I usually, after I'm done with a session of matte medium, I get out the fingernail polish remover, take off my polish because it's all stuck to my fingernail polish, and. Uh, that's usually how, what happens. Okay, so there we go. But you want to make sure you have um, wax paper behind it. Otherwise, you will glue your pages shut. Oh, I just got that in the... Let's get that off of there. Be dragging that matte medium everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And then I'll throw that baby wipe away and go to another baby wipe. Oh, we're all glad that Jean made... <laughs> oh, thank you, my color. Oh, let's see. Thank you. I don't know if that's, uh, is that uh, Korean? I can't tell what language that is. But thank you for speaking English. <laughs> uh, say it again. Ranger might send you a wipe down. I don't know if they make the scrubbies anymore. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and dry this real quick. I got to be careful not to step on my scrapbook stuff. Um uh, I really like the way those pages turned out. I think I ran some people off this morning by doing a little bit of scrapbooking. But I had to get those done. <laughs> well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. This doesn't have to be really 100% dry because I'm going to paint in a minute. But I just don't want to run my hand through uh, matte medium. So if y'all missed it earlier, I did a double page spread. Well, what I'm going to do is frame them both for my granddaughter who went to New York. A couple, I think it was a couple weeks ago. So I did these two scrapbook pages this morning. Um, yeah. So those are for her. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Let's move this. Get something to put some paint in here. Make sure that that's not wet on the back because I, sometimes I pile them up. That. All righty. All right, so now I want to get out some paints. I'm gonna want some blues, some yellow ochre, my usual favorite colors. Yellow ochre and sienna, or, or some kind of a brick red, uh, you know, some kind of a sienna color. Here's a uh, burnt sienna. Okay, so here we go. So see, 
<laughs> probably need a little bit of gray, although I can mix my own gray with black and white and black and white. So we're going to start with these colors right here. Here we go. So this is how I start the process after I glue the pieces down. I pick my colors. Um, so let's go ahead and shake them up. Um, yeah, I got them done in like five minutes. Well, it I can I've did so many. I've done so many scrapbook pages. You know, it's kind of like collaging. This one's almost empty. I got an, I got more, but um, you know, it's kind of just like instinctive when you do so many. <laughs> Always make sure and shake your paints up really well because they will separate. If you haven't used a color in a while, it'll be uh, oily. And I just use coffee lids. Coffee lids for the paint. All right. Let's move these, let me move these tapes off my desk. Get a couple more baby wipes. Can't believe it's Wednesday already. Happy hump day, everybody. Happy hump day. <laughs> uh, oh, they have a new, a new Ranger Scrubby Pacola. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have one. They last, I don't know if they ever wear out. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have one, it's really an awesome. Uh, okay, so um, I might want, to, I'm, I'm probably going to want some um, clocks or watches or something else in here. So let me go ahead and look real quick for that. Let me get some of my collage fodder. Yeah, I have a big, got a tray here. Um, I was cutting some things out the other day. So I have quite the tray. Do I want a door? Oh, I might want one of uh, Catherine. No, because I've got a sinking ship. If I had a door, it would just be a small one. Let's see. Here's some small ones. Maybe that yellow one. I might want that yellow door. Uh, but really, I was looking for some watches. So I'm flipping through here. I kind of wanted to keep this one kind of simple. Although I do like this. Eh, I won't go that far. I'll, I'll use that in the other book. I was going to try to keep this one kind of simple. I know I have some watches in here somewhere. Hang on, guys. Here's <coughs> my... See, do I want what kind of color? I like the back of this, but that's too too. I don't want it on the card stock. Let's see if I can find something a little smaller. Oh, I like that. I might have to. Oh, I like this. I like that. Oh, here's the blue ones. I might like. I might like that. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, wait. I just saw something. I just saw something I liked. And flip back. Hang on. This one. I might want that. Let's see. Hang on, guys. Okay, we're gonna roll with this. We're gonna roll with one of these. Um for later and if you if you can tear now sometimes you might want to like have the exact you know a circle or something but if you can tear your collage elements and glue them they will blend in much better i don't know which one i'm going to use yet um When you go to paint them in, it's easier to paint in a torn edge than it is a cut edge. But of course, if you're doing um, if you're doing some specific, um, like for instance, Colleen was using the collage handmade collage book by um, Seiko. Seiko. 
um, in one of her collages, you got to fussy cut some stuff out. You do fussy cut some stuff out, but um, if you can, if you can uh, tear, you'll be able to blend in the painting much easier. Okay, so it's one of these. One of these that I want to use. <laughs> All right, let's see here, because I've got my sinking ship, so I think I'm going to have, I might have this in the, in the water, one of them. I don't know which one I want. I like this one. Kind of like it on this side. I like them both, well, either way. Kind of like it right there. It's going to be in the water, so. I don't want it to, so. We're looking at the watch hands as well. And this little piece, this little leftover bit. You can see coming in here. I know there's a glare, guys, but we'll fix that. All right, I might roll with those. Although I love this. I'm going to put that in there. Because it almost looks like part of a watch right there. All right, I'm going to go with those three, three little bits. So let me glue those down real quick. And if you lay out a whole bunch of collage stuff, a whole bunch of stuff, and you're afraid you're going to forget where you put something, take a picture. Take a picture to last longer. It's a little UFO floating right there in my world. <laughs> uh, take a picture. And then look at, at for the reference. Okay, let's clean some of this off. All right, I think I'm done gluing for now. So I'm going to stick this back. I keep my keep my glue brushes in water. They're the only wa um, only watches. They're the only, oh wait, I was going to do a door. They're the only things that I put in. Oh, I'm rolling over. I'm rolling over a watch. Um, they're the only uh, brushes I keep in water. I was thinking about this little door here, but I'm not sure. I don't know that it needs it, but I'm thinking some kind of a little portal right here. But if I use, I'm kind of liking this one actually. Let's just cut it out and see. And these are Katherine Anderson uh, collage, fodder collage. Um, well, she has about, I don't know, six or eight books out. And uh, I'm liking that one. She has six or eight different books out of collage that you can use in your work. Let's see, I'm going to want that here, and I'm going to want... it behind. I'm going to want it behind that, so I'm going to do that. Okay, let's glue that down. Right there. Let me check chat again, guys. I know I'm kind of ignoring you. I'm not trying to ignore you. Just trying to get some stuff done. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Don't need those doors now. Let's move those back into the tray. All right. right. Let's uh, Now I'm going to put this. I, I just take off the excess with the baby wipe, and then this goes back in water. That's the only reason, the only thing I use those brushes for. 
is uh, glue. I have other brushes for painting, right? Which I got my paint right here. So let's move this out of the way. I've got tons of cards, so I'll just throw the card away. And uh, in case I do decide to glue anything else, I'll just leave this for now. But again, I've got tons of coffee lids that I can use. Um, watch over there for, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. And then a palette knife, a paintbrush, and my fingers. Okay, I think we're good to go. Now I'm going to try not to get this on. I have this propped up on my new Artesia journal. I'm going to try not to get this on the new Artesia journal. Okay, so now I got to go in here and start painting in. And this is what the next step. So sometimes I'll start with my finger painting, and I'm going to have stars and I thought I cut this long and big enough. Let me move this one out of the way until we're ready for it. All right. So I'm going to start up here. And what I'm trying to do right now is just get rid of all the white with whatever color. I'm going to have space up here. So y'all know I'm going to have some black where I can throw a bucket of stars up here. If you get it anywhere you don't want it, because this is coated with matte medium, you can take a baby wipe and just wipe it right off. Okay? So if you get it anywhere you don't want it. Right now, I'm just trying to get, um, get rid of the background, and then I'll blend in with colors over the top of the black after I dry it. Like right here, I'll put blue over this like this so that can blend in together. See? Ooh, you can do a lot of it with finger painting. So get a little blue, a little white. And you can make just make those two world, those two pieces come together like that. Okay, let's keep rolling. Maybe a little black and a little blue just to get it, just to get it just to get it covered. If you get it anywhere you don't want, just you know, go back over it. Wipe it away with the baby wipe. And then I sit here in my head and I'll go. some gray in there. Gray, blue, blue, black. Take your baby wipe, wipe away anything, blend with the baby wipe. Let me get some more baby wipes. So you go through a lot of baby wipes, <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah, I can go through 20, you know, at a, at a time. And you don't have to go this fast. I mean, I just, you know, I go fast because I want to get as much done as I can while we're while we're here. But you, you know, take your time. And you gotta find clean places on your baby wipe, otherwise you're just smearing, you're just smearing the same paint over it. Okay. Like they're all black. Okay, there, got my background based in. All right. All right, let me um get fresh baby wipes. <laughs> oh, I got one here. All right, let's see.
I'm not sure. Are you talking to me, Ian? I'm not sure. Uh, would love bridges. David Ross to collage bridges. I put some bridges and I've used what I, you know what I usually use for bridges. I like stairs too. I put stairs. I'm just getting some of the excess off my hand. But um, I'll show you what makes good bridges. And that is, well, I don't have one cut out right here. Uh, a good bridge. I'll show you one. I'm not going to probably put one on here, but. These, the outsides of the watches. Make good bridges and, you know, it's like, look right here. Let's see, we could even probably put one right here. So if we do this. I don't want to lose my little UFO. I got my little UFO thing there. But look. See? <clears throat> we'll put one in just for you. I'm just using my fingers instead of getting the brush back out of the water. All right. <laughs> we'll paint it in. <laughs> All righty. Let's see. All right. Let's go ahead and dry this. picking up a little bit of paint but that's okay all right Thank you, Anya. I think I can move my black paper for a minute. I don't know if I'll need it or not. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So now, now comes the fun part. I think I might want to go ahead and just throw a bucket of stars down real quick. Let's get some. Just to get crack a lack in. And, you know, if you cover up the stars, you can always go back and paint them back in again. So want to, like the consistency of ink. You want a floppy brush. Oops. Didn't mean to flop it right there. Okay, and then tap it off. I'm going to still do some more blending and stuff here, but I'm just going to go ahead and put some stars up here. I'll probably have some down in the, I'll probably have some uh, 
water splashy stuff down in here too. Again, I'm going to end up painting a lot of it over this, but I'll have it handy so um, we can go back in and just paint more. All right, I'm going to clean this brush. All right, get me some fresh baby wipes. All right, now I can dry and read chat. Just create a star. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my stargates. <laughs> I'd have a stargate on every page. Paper. But I'm going to knock it back some. Maybe a little bit of mist or clouds. I don't want it to compete with this. It takes a minute to dry these squats. And they're probably not dry yet, but I'm going to con continue on. Okay, so now I'm going to start doing some, um, maybe some palette knife stuff. So uh, I need a little bit of yellow. I got my yellow ochre, but I might need a little bit of just yellow. Maybe. Let's see. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of brightness somewhere. And so it came off of that one. So, and you can't be too picky about this kind of this part because you're gonna be um you're gonna go back and forth between your palette knife and your baby wipe and your paintbrush and your finger <laughs> and uh, I should put a planet up there maybe I should put Janet I need those planets you're sending me <laughs> Janet's Janet made some uh, uh mixed media I think she did it with uh what do you call it uh magicals and she's going to punch me out some planets. So I'm going to have to get me one here. And just kind of start blending in and, and creating everything you imagine. Let's get a little smaller brush here. And then this is where the details... You start putting in the details, and this is the stuff that takes the longest. And uh, but it makes it makes your world come to life. What did Janet say? Oh, she left. Okay. Um, I need a I need a planet or two. I could just paint them in. Sometimes I do that too, but uh, or use a marble. Marbles are good for using, depending on how big of a planet. And then when this dries, I can put nebulization with pencil. But I think I might want to plant it up here behind here. All right, let's see. Let me look through my stuff here. Um, I 
just need some texture and something, something. Get a punch here. Just want, let me punch a couple different things here. Yeah, that's a good place. This is a good one. Yeah, I don't want blue. No, this is probably work. <clears throat> All right, that's going to work. Okay. Get my glue again. to take your time with this one creating this illusion just taste i know it takes time but you know i try to get it done in a show i do try to get these done in a show you know and remember the the original reasons that i wanted to do these was to turn them into paintings like i would use this as a sketch to um turn it into a painting but I don't have time to do that anymore with my uh, portrait commissions. You know, that's something I do What y'all don't see many of them. You see some, you know, if I have permission from the person that I'm doing the commission for to do it on the show. Yeah, you like the circle that you have made. And I'm going to put some glow around it, some shooting stars, some other things, some nebulization. Uh, but again, you know, you just got to kind of, you know, you got to have that in your vision. And so I just work, you know, but brush. Fingers, baby wipe, palette knife. You know, I just keep working back and forth between it. I think I'm going to have, I think we'll have some of the, this come right over the top here. Oh, all right, I got to take my bracelet off because it's scratching on the thing. And then I'm going to turn this into a UFO thing. So I'm going to, I don't know what it was, just a piece of something. And I'm going to add my own, <clears throat> my own little detail of it. Like some kind of ship in there. Oh, good. Thank you, Joan. I appreciate that. So, um, all right, let's see what next do I want to do next. Okay. So right in here, I want to get some, um, more texture in here and it is a little tricky sometime in the crack, you know, in the in the middle of the book. Okay, now let's wipe a little of that back.
Oh, yeah, some kind of a ray coming out of there. I need orange. Just a dot of orange. <clears throat> and this will probably come down into here. Let's make a little darker blue. There'll be some splashy bits going on right there. I'm just kind of cleaning my brush off uh, on my paper. I mean, on my uh, cleaning off as I go. Okay, let's some white just to get this in here. I'm not done blending down here yet, so I don't want to get too much in the weeds with the ray, the light ray, until I get, see, it's right there in the crack. A little tricky. A little tricky in the crack, but I'm going to have that orange glow come down into here, but I have to finish this water first before I, you know, add details. All right, let's see. Let's go back up over here. Still with the tour, guys. This is a part where I'm like, I'm not talking as much because I'm envisioning <laughs> what I want to do, and it's a little hard to, it's a little hard to talk and do the, the, you know, trying to uh, what I'm hearing in my head. Oh, thank you, Kim's daughter. Thank you, Kim's daughter. It's a little on the flashed outside, but I don't want to get it too dark. I mean, if I turn the light down too much on the settings, you know. All right. So now I want to get a little bit more. Let's see. Do I want to go with, let's go with a nice big angle brush here with some blue and white. Let's see if I can do this here. I don't want it too thick. I want it very thin. All right, a little more. Got a little bit of splash coming up in there. And I'm going to have a little bit of splashy, watery splashes of, along the ship. Maybe I'll have some, um, maybe I'll have a nice big wave down here. Something going on down in here.
shade that with pencil. If the video quality is fuzzy, please click. Um, yeah. Yeah, make sure your settings are at 1080p, guys, because sometimes if if YouTube flinches, it'll knock the settings back to 144. So make sure you um, your settings aren't knocked back. Okay, let me go ahead and get over here a little bit. Let me get with my smaller brush. Let's get over in here a little bit. And I know I mentioned it before, but um, if y'all don't watch Portrait Artist of the Year or the uh, on on YouTube, Portrait Artist of the Year 2020, there's other years too, but that's the current one. Or, yes, baby, I see you. Or uh, the Potter, no, can't get on there. Or the Potter of the Year. Baby, I, I, she's on my shoulder. You don't don't mess with the camera, baby. <laughs> that y'all need to watch those because they're really good. It takes just takes some little bit of time, guys, to do this. And I know I don't talk as much when I'm doing it on these details because I'm concentrating. All right. Yeah, except it's uh, it was Malibu. Okay, I think I might want some stairs. Do I want a little bit of, uh, or a path? I'm thinking I do. Somewhere up in here. Some kind of a path coming in here. I have to paint that in, but I'm just going to kind of lay it out. Some kind of a... Coming from there down to here somehow. But I'm going to have my watch hands coming across there too. So maybe I should just make them kind of some kind of little bumpy stones or something right back in there. Yeah. Little rocks or just something, just something kind of you can't really tell. I could put little buildings back there or something. I just want a little bit of something, something to come off, you know, closer to the edge here, fade out into the edge here. Just a little something in there. And then I'm going to go back in here with my white. To blend this in here. Oops, a little too much. Let's get a fresh baby wipe here. Let's get a clean one so I can move this around. I don't think I want that over there. I think I want just the edge. We'll have a glow right there around the edge. Is there anything else? What other things are y'all watching that you want to can talk about? Does anyone know if Stabilo makes other colors than just the black? Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Uh, and I think I have a black, a white, and maybe one other color. Um, Queen City, they do. I don't. I don't have a lot of them. I have the black, the white, and I think another color. But yeah, they do. Okay, now let's make a little bit of a shadow here. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing here. 
I'm going to need a little bit more. I don't know if I want a shadow for right there. Let's see. Let's see. I can always paint it back out. But I'm thinking this needs a little. It's too dark. This needs a little bit of. Coming from that right there. And there's going to be some stars in there. So. This will be a nice way to blend these two together. Just a little. Not, we'll see how much time we have on here. If I don't have too much time, then I'll just go and paint a couple of pages in the other journal. Because that's what I was going to do today is just show you all a little bit of, you know, the second stage after you glue some stuff down, painting. But we're kind of doing that here. <laughs> we're kind of doing that here. And I'm going to put some more stuff with Posca. All right, this edge needs a little more blend here. And so it'll have some more waves and water. But I think it's coming along. All right, so let's come back over on this side. I'm kind of liking that little splishy, splashy black thing right there. I think I want somehow to keep this. Kind of, some kind of a swirl coming into there. I kind of like that. And again, if I paint over any of the stars, I'll just put some back in. Is there something menacing on the, I don't want to say the horizon, but something menacing over here coming in? All right, let's see. Cats are running around out there now. All right, so I'm going to get some white in here that I'll go over with orange and yellow because I want some of these rays. I should just, let me just do that Posca. Let me hit this with the heat gun. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. <laughs> All right, so now let's see what I can do here. All right, so we're going to have some of this coming down. I'll have to paint that one because it's going over the crack right there. There's my brush. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put my brush. Well... Where all my little brush went that I was just using, just the bigger one. Let's move that punch out of the way. Well, what I do with it? There it is. It rolled under. So I'm going to have to use paint here right in the crack. So the brush can go over that. Alright. Are y'all still with the tour? Are y'all bored?
to a slight little dry brush. Probably won't even show up on camera, but I can see it. Little tiny bit of orange. Oh, thank you, Nanamo. All right, let's see. Let's dry again. Okay, now I really wanted the watch hand, one of the watch hands, which there's, they're always going in the wrong direction, so I have to paint them out and paint them back in. Um to be going up to the UFO. So I don't want it to be too much of a, what do you call it? Uh, compositionally, you know, if I do it right like that, I think it'll be okay with these rays coming down. It's kind of like a, you know, some kind of a little battle thing going on. And then I'll, let's just paint out both hands. Let's just paint them both out. Put a little shadow in here somewhere. It's just kind of lost some of the de definition. Maybe a little bit in there. Maybe a little shadow right up under there. Something like that. Now I got to get out some pencils in a minute. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me get. I got to get a ruler. Where's Janet? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oops, gotta hit a bump. Paint that out. Got a lot going on. I don't know if I need both those. Eh, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Let's try. Okay, let's get some pencils. Okay. See, this is what I mean about this kind of stuff. The details take a while. And I know people kind of get bored waiting for something to happen. <laughs> they get bored waiting for something to happen. In the world. Where's my black? Here it is. Let me sharpen. Reach over here and sharpen. Okay, Anya. Thank you. And we're going to get some, um, what do you call it? Um, star shines and It's going to come down here. Where's my white? Oops.
<clears throat> okay. <laughs> Drawing a smaller bridge. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't, this is good. I don't want another bridge. Got a bridge to nowhere. <laughs> Did y'all watch Oak Island last night? Anyone? The the di di digging down before the regular show. William Shatner was on there. He's got his new um, his unexpl unexpl unexplained. I think is the name of his show. Comes back on Saturday night, and so uh, he was on Oak Island last night. It was good. So I think his first show, his first uh, what do you call it? Uh, Unexplained is going to be like the Templars and Oak Island and stuff like that. So, all right, let's see here. This guy, it was good. I I, I like William Shanford. He's he's very witty. If you don't follow him on uh, Twitter, <laughs> he's very uh, he's very witty. Um, what's it? I'm in Atlanta, Shelly. I'm south of Atlanta, though. Of the city proper, I mean. <clears throat> All right, let me get a darker blue here. See if this is going to be dark enough. Probably not. A little darker. Get my waves in here. That will be a start. Do you got me hooked? On Oak Island, <laughs> I know I like I've watched it since the date first time it started. Yeah, all right, let's see what else do I need to. I, I got a lot of details I still want to add, but you know, I got, I got 30 minutes. I wanted to try to get back into the other journals just to show you kind of uh, doing some paint starts and stuff like that. But this one, when I was flipping through, this one just said, got to work on me now. Got to work on me. All right. So now let's see. And I'm going to get in here with the Posca. D, I am watching Poor Drivers of the Year. It is good, isn't it? Let's make a bet. It is, isn't it? And there's and that's just 2020. There's like, I think there's like five years. I don't know if they're all on YouTube, though. I watched a lot of them on um, Sky Arts on on cable. This is the first year that I've seen them do all the season, season 20. Have it on YouTube.
like I said, a little bit in this, the little ditch there of your book. It's a little tricky in there. Just want to make sure it's kind of feathered out. Okay, let's see. Now I need to add some more white Posca details, and I want to add some more nebulization. Here we go. And then I'll have to throw on some more stars, I'm sure. A couple of, uh, see right there, you can see where I, that's glued. A, a line, a straight line. I don't want to see that straight line right there. Um, I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I got to get off my sitting on my foot. Um, okay, Ashley. Hi, Kenny. I'm trying to kind of finish up this uh, collage and then do a couple of little bit painty, painty bits in um, those other in the smaller journals. I think I might want a big, um, I don't want to say that this planet's exploding, but maybe. We'll put a, where's the Posca? Where's the Posca? That sit for a minute. I'll put some pencil on it. And then I'm going to need something else down in here, maybe around this wave or something. Maybe in here, maybe right in here. Got a lot going on on this side, but that's okay. It's too it's too lined up. So this will just have to be. This will just have to have, yeah, let me get this one rolling here. that to kind of stand out a little more. Something like that. Is that dry? Yeah. There's a lot going on. <laughs> 
let's see what, I think I'll get the bigger pasta so I can get some bigger sections of paint for these like wave areas here. What I'm going to do with the splashy splash. Some little wavy bits here. That one's a little too much. How we doing? Now we do one. Okay, so this wave is going to connect to this bridge. I'm holding my breath. Don't want that so obvious, just a little bit of subtle. A little bit like that. Let's try that. See all this shading and blending and this all takes a while, you know? You know what I mean, Vern? Alright, let's get those stars in here. I'll splash a few more with the bucket of stars here in a minute. But I want some, oh, let's see, I touched that. I want some specific ones in here. A little splash right there. Okay, now down in here. Some kind of whirlpool, whirlpool kind of thing going on down here. Okay. 
I don't want it to look like uh, honey buns. <laughs> oh, we can't have those honey buns like I did with the wind in that other page. All right, let's do a little star splash and then we'll see what we need to do. All right, let's see. Where's my bucket of stars? Let's add a little bit. Oh, I think there's enough water in there. Okay, tap this off. Don't want them too big. And then I'll go in and like put a few circles around some of them to add a little planet, planet to it. And if you get them anywhere you don't want them, just go in there and kind of wipe them away. I want some down here in the bottom for like water splashing. A little bit, maybe tiny, tiny right in there. That's good. That's a little much right there. Okay. All right, let me dry this. Thanks everybody for the thumbs up and watching. It's not quite dry, so I'm just gonna watch my hand here. I'm gonna want a little bit of a little orange glow right there. And let's pick a couple. These aren't dry yet, so I don't know. Let me try to go around a couple of them. Trail going on over there. Where's my black? All right, let's see what else I need to add. Don't need it too much more. I mean, I could sit here and play all day. Almost looks like a Darth Vader helmet. I don't want that to happen, but it kind of does. <laughs> Let's get some of these little gears and stuff to kind of show up a little better. Add your own little, add your own little, what's a what's a. Could go in there with silver gel pen as well but just want some of that to stand out let's make sure i don't have any rough it too much of rough edge on my little waves here like that's a little rough right there splash there uh, what else what else i'll look at it later and i'm gonna go oh i needed to add that and that'll be after i take a picture and post it on twitter I go, oh, I should have put this. I should have put that. But, you know, at some point you got to, you got to stop. Okay. So the green there, I want to get rid of. I don't want that green right there. And then I can get in here a little bit on some of this 
organic looking part. It's kind of very organic. It looks almost like stripes or some kind of something there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to smear in something. Maybe a little darker up in here. Could put a little, maybe a little bit more orange. Nah, well, maybe just a little. Just a little bit of orange there. Okay. I think we might be done. What do y'all think? I got a smeared something right there. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me do this because <laughs> I had fun doing it. I had fun doing it. It could use almost just a touch of yellow right down in here, I think. Could be a little bit of reflection from up there. Just a little bit of yellow down in here. This black right here needs to kind of do something. There has to be a reason for this. There has to be a reason for this. It's either a hill or something right there. All right. Now, let's just put in couple of stars maybe where I might specifically want but I want to show y'all something look this is what I'm talking about a why you want to tear look can y'all see that line right there see that line that line going down there that's because it's a cut edge that was a cut edge that we uh, used it's very hard to get rid of those cut edges Where's my white pencil? Oh, here it is. Who's watching Survivor tonight? Who's wa who's on the Survivor train? <laughs> Besides me, Janet, and Terry L. On Twitter, we tweet. We tweet the Survivor um, show. I mean, while it's live, we all get together on Twitter. All right, let's just see if there's anything else I want to kind of just kind of see here. We can add in with some white pencil. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop on this one. And hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I don't know. It still might need a little. I still want to add a star shine. It's, I'm going to have to. It's just got to be little. This needs a star shine right here where it's hidden. It's kind of lined up a lot with this, but it needs a little star shine right down in there. And then let that dry for just a second. Well, hit it with the heat gun. And then just kind of soften it. It just needs that right in there. Maybe that's a little big. Let's knock it down just a little. All right. So now I'm going to go into the other journal real quick, just for a few minutes. 
let's define those just a little. So there's always something else. There's always something else that you can keep going. Okay, so now I'm going to move this to the side. I'll, I'll take a picture of it and tweet it. I'll tweet, and, uh, tweet it on Twitter <laughs> after, it's, after the show's over. All right, so now I'm going to go back over here and uh, just show you what we were doing. What we started to do over there is I wanted to show you here. This is how all they all start. They start with just something like this, some collage bits. In, in, a, in some kind of a color theme, right? Like, let's just go with this one. And then the first thing I do is paint in. Let me get my, uh, I've already got the collage stuff. Now I can always go in and like this one has a little bit of a, a um, watch where I could put watch hands if I want to. You want to put something behind so you don't glue your pages together with paint. Let's move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. And I have little strips here, or leftover you know, little pieces of stuff that you could, you know, add more to as you go along. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and use, let's see, do I have colors here? I need some, um, maybe some magenta or some kind of um, purpley pink color. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, this one's glued shut so let's just put a little out <coughs> all right so what i'll do just like i did the other one um this one i could use a probably a little more dark blue too let's go with some true blue or ultramarine here. Did I get another one that I've glued the I don't if I don't close them then they um crust over. Now I think I glued this one. Let me get another one. There we go. All right. So, again, we're just going to start painting in some colors probably with my fingers how about Insta? yes um i'll put it on instagram too color are you on instagram what's your name on instagram my color a little bit of magenta maybe in here A little edge here. And this is just a, you know, just to get rid of the white. That's what this is right here. Just to get rid of the white. And you can do it with any color, you know, you want. I kind of try to match it along the edge to start, but you don't have to do that. A little gray in there, a little pink and gray. Let's get a little of that gray. Maybe a little yellow ochre. Oh, didn't mean that orange. Didn't want the orange. More than a gentle. I know it looks like a hot mess to start. It always does. But, you know, it just it's just getting rid. I just want to get rid of the white. That's, that's what I'm trying to do right now. This will probably have some lightning looking kind of thing in here. 
So I'm going to come up that away. Let's get a little more magenta right under there. A little more in here. A little of the two shades of blue down in here. A little magenta. And y'all notice I'm not cleaning my hands. See, it's just all kind of it just all kind of blends together. <laughs> it just works. You just can't be afraid. You can't be afraid to try that, you know, just go in there with your hands and get 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 in there and you know. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back up in here. A little more blues. And then I'll put it, I might go in here with a palette knife too. Maybe this might have a some kind of a something coming around this way. I don't know yet. But this is how they start. And you can live with it for a minute or two or a day. And then just go back and say, well, you know, now I'm seeing X, Y, Z. And don't be afraid to cover something up. If you see something and it says, oh, it looks like it needs to go this way. But I'm going to end up covering up that. Well, don't be afraid. Just cover it up. It's just paper. <laughs> it's just paper. I think my mailman just went by. I try to meet him out there so he doesn't have to get out of the truck if I see he has a package or something. I am expecting a book, but I don't think it's going to be here yet. All right, so now let's take this out so you can kind of see. So this is where it just starts. So there we go. There's a start right there. Now I can go back in there and glue in some more little bits or turn this into, you know, some kind of, this kind of looks like a city, you know, like buildings, like some kind of alien buildings or something. Let me just get a black Posca. Let me dry it first. everything doesn't have to I, I just like space and time and stuff like that but you can do you know a flower garden i mean you can do anything you want where's my black Costco? i thought i had it out got pencils all over the place let's see up here um you know it, it can be whatever you want okay jan thank you you got happy oh this is gold don't want gold Got Happy Mail coming, Jan. Where's my black? Where's my black pasta? There it is. <clears throat> and I could use paint for this, too. This is just quicker for now. Could maybe have some raggedy bits. Broken kind of bits. Probably be easier to do it with paint, but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin my Poscas. Here's my little brush. Just be easier. There we go. So I'll just spend a second doing this. But um, and that's what I say when you uh, when you buy a, a book to alter. I like abandoned places, but not everybody likes abandoned places. So you could always just get a book of a you know a place you want to visit somewhere in Europe. You could have um, a garden. You could have you know birds. Any kind of book you want to alter, and just have fun with it.
<clears throat> you're just driving all in, but not all of us are so brave. Well, you got to get brave. Go look at my uh, intro on my YouTube channel. It's like 20 seconds. <laughs> it's only paint and paper. If you don't like this, if I didn't like this, I just paint the whole thing. Paint right over the whole thing and start over. Glue more paper on. More paint. My paint's getting a little dried out. It's been sitting here for a couple hours. My brush is getting a little crusty. So anyway, guys, I think you get the idea. You just go in there with paint. You know, if you start with, if you start with some colors, like look here, it's salmon, pink, black, a little bit of purple and stuff. But overall, you know, it can be like a, a, a salmon and a pink. And then just go in there and fill in. Now this I'd probably fill in a lot with black just because that's a corner. But I might leave this little pink area right here. Look, I could leave that as a planet right there. There's, well, you can't may not can't see it, but there's paper under there. Um, this could this could turn into tree branches. It could be buildings. I, I'm kind of seeing it kind of more organically now, but. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope y'all. I hope y'all had a fun just hanging out and doing a little paint and play and art journal and thank you mods for being here thank you um pacola kathy colleen um julie topaz thanks everybody all right well i think i'm going to stop I'm going to stop. And then again, this, I always say that. And then this, but look, let me show you real quick. Acrylic paint gets along great with color pencil. Got to dry it, though. It has to be dry. And then you can do something like... Um, See, then you don't have to leave it stark black. You can go in here and add color and shadows and highlights. Just kind of do this quickly so you can kind of get the idea. See what I mean, Vern? that show up then you can start doing um it, it'll make it look more in depth right when you start adding adding other colors to it all right guys well i'm heading out i hope y'all enjoyed it i will um i'll take a picture of um the one i did and post on twitter and instagram i didn't see uh color me is that her name color me i didn't see the name of your instagram um is she still here? I don't know. So, um, oh, thank you, Tori. Thank you so much. Uh, I might do an impromptu over the weekend. We'll see. Um, or during the week in the week into the weekend. You too. I, I, I'll probably throw out something, you know, sometime during the next few days. But uh, if y'all don't know, my regular stream time is Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, I usually start about 8.30. But uh, starts at 9, 9 Eastern. So there you go, guys. There's the one we worked on today. And uh, thank you again, Annie V, for the book. Um, here's our, we, we whipped out a couple of scrapbook pages real quick of uh, my granddaughter. Uh, I'm going to frame these and take them up to her. 
She went to New York uh, a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, did those. And what else did we do today? I don't know. I think that's probably it. Oh, my, my room's a hot mess. My Colleen took a picture of her room after. I should take a picture of this, Colleen, just for you. I'm going to, Colleen. I'm going to take a picture of this room for you and post it. I'll post it with this picture on Twitter. <laughs> I'm blaming Colleen. Uh, okay. All right, my color. All right. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Bye.